I'm paranoid. We're trying something new. Hello. Hello, everyone. We're, try we're trying something new. Oh, we are right. trying something new. Two damsels and dice. Where it's a little dicey, but, but this, this is, is how, how we roll. roll. I should turn you into bards. I should just smite you and turn you into bards. I am I swear. a bard. I'm not a bard and in your at thing, all. Um, welcome to our relatively new setup. Yeah. Um, we're, we're trying something a little new, so if we run into some technological issues or if the audio for one reason or another cuts out, apologies ahead of time. But, you know, bear with us. You know, a little bit experimental. We're trying. Oh, always good to mix things up a little bit, thanks to our illustrious Kinsey. Uh, she was the one who came up with this idea, so we're gonna run with it and see what happens. We're gonna roll Hopefully with it. Hopefully this will put content out a little bit faster <laughs> oh. than, you know, once every, like, few months. <laughs> After we get all the other... Six years later. Yeah, it's gonna take yeah. a while to get it all edited, but it's okay, it's okay, we're fine, we're fine. We are ready It'll to be start. It'll be fine, I know what I'm doing tomorrow. And we don't have to start yeah. and stop every 30 minutes now. Uh, that'll be yeah. kinda nice. That'll be kinda yeah. nice. Because every once in a while, make sure it's still recording. Yes. <laughs> I will watch it continuously. <laughs> we'll just keep that face the entire time. <laughs> oh, probably. Probably oh, will. Oh, also, I got new dice. My birthday yeah, is in two days. days. <laughs> new dice. It's actually her birthday. Giant uh, dice. This, um, this upcoming Sunday, so she's... I'm turning yeah. 22. It's big. Still okay. tuning to them, so hopefully like, they will behave for her very yeah, soon. I will show you. Otherwise, you know what, Kinsey? Now you have a dice jail. I have a dice jail. This is the oh, normal, yeah. and this is this is my Madison got it for me for my birthday. I'm turning twenty two. Yeah. I definitely told somebody the other day she was turning twenty, but it's okay. A type I, of twenty. I, it's great. Uh, the other thing, uh. Uh, that I kept in mind was uh, I was borrowing someone else's phrase uh, to describe the end of a creature. Uh, but I think I'm going to try a different catchphrase, so bear with me on that. A catchphrase? Oh, are you talking about how would you like to do this? Yeah, how do you want to do this? Oh. Matt Mercer lives forever in our souls. Wait, that means that we're going to fight something today. No! No, like, every time we fought something, she's like, how would you like to do this? And that's what Matt Mercer says every time they get the killing yes, blow. Yeah, because they're so cool. Yeah, other people have adopted it, but I, I feel like that is probably copyright infringement, and uh, as much as, you know, I want to pay homage to uh, Critical Role. Don't uh, sue us, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, we're, we're going to try something a little bit different, so... Okay. Um, I can get your all's take on it now, or just wait until you all decide to fight something. I want to know now. No, I want to wait. No, I want to know now. Let's roll for it. Who's going to roll more? Okay, it's whoever so, gets the highest. Okay, gets whoever two. gets the highest. One, two, three. Eleven. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me now. Okay, fine. Um, one of them was, um, like, call the shot. Oh. Um, or, um, what are its final moments? I definitely like that one better than the end? first one. That, that was the other one. That was like, how does it end? The first one's a no. I like how does it end. Yeah, I kind of like that one. How's, how, how does it end? Cool. Or like, end it. And then the oh, end, like, it. end it. End it. Yes! Alright, end it. Okay, end it. Alright. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So, last we left our illustrious adventurers, uh, they were, scared you know, just puttering along in the woods, doing stuff and things with their lives, yeah. worried about absolutely nothing. Right? Yeah. Because that's just what happens. Yeah. Right. We failed our perception checks. <laughs> Hardcore. <laughs> But no, ser uh, seriously, getting into it. The adventuring party, uh, the two cousins, Taliban and Nora, both uh, of a drow descent, traveled from Willens to and uh, Blomberg to Pathstow and now to their next location, Sogso. After traveling for about two and a half days in the swamp-like territory, they started realizing that there was a, a subtle mist, a subtle fog, creeping along in the woods. 
in, in among the dead branches and trees that overhang the the swampy strip. They arrived in Sogso, finding very few townspeople currently uh, available to them to speak to, and the ones that they did speak to seemed highly paranoid, irritated, like something was wrong. They were told to go further and further and further in in order to find some kind of place to sleep for the night to bed down as it was starting to, uh, it was threatening to rain and get dark. And right as there was a deluge, this complete downpour, they realized that there were no inns accepting anybody. In a last ditch effort, they walked down this one street and found one of the locals gesturing them to come inside to um, take shelter, but to hurry. There was something coming as gongs went off in the town. After, see, after taking shelter, they managed to get a glimpse of the creature as well as a poor soul that it dragged along with it. After a discussion with the father uh, named Arthur Chaucer and the daughter Katie, you all realized that there might be something else to this town and that you all could not just leave uh, absconding into the shadows. You all woke the next morning, prepared yourselves, and discussed what best path to take. The party, relatively divided, needed a final answer and came to one. They decided first to go and investigate the edge of the town, the border, where supposedly people were able to leave while others could not. And this is where we begin, as the party, the very massive party of, comprised primarily of NPCs. Nothing right wrong with that. Okay, hey, no. look, there's only two of us. We can only play so many characters, aka two. I mean, we could both create another character. Girl, that's too much. <laughs> I think not. Nonsense. As Madison that's plays, fine. like, ten Eight characters <laughs> at one time. I'm good. At any rate, all of you, after taking the morning, preparing yourselves, conjecture conjecturing what could possibly be the cause maybe behind uh, the mist, the fog, the disappearances, as this does seem to be a regular occurrence. You all ride out. Uh, Katie did manage to provide a, a, a scrap of parchment in which scrawled on it were directions in order to get back from uh, the, the outskirts. You all ride out. Uh, go ahead and make an intelligence check to uh, make sure that you can follow the instructions. Ooh, okay, okay, fair enough. But but before before we like leave the area, okay, I'm going to let's see how many of us are there. There's us two, and then. One, two, three, four. There's six people. And then there's, and then there's three, three, sprites. three sprites. So for the six people or something, I'm going to take a piece of paper, like a small piece of paper, and I'm going to write down just quick details of what happened. Like, basically, so I'm, I'm doing this because in case we pass through the fog, if they forget, they'll have a piece of paper that's like, hey, hey. You forgot something. Your friends. Or if, like, somebody finds them one day, it's like, help Soxo, we're fucking dying. Yes, basically. So I'm writing down, like, just, like, basic details, and then I'm, like, signing my name and stuff on, like, six pieces of paper. Why don't you sign my name? Okay. Okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. so I'll put, well, I'll, I'll let you sign them then. But, um, and then I'm gonna give one to each of, each of us. And then Is intelligence. Sorry, I just wanted to be clear in case like you kept going and then I'm like, wait, but I did that. And you were like, no, you no, didn't. You're fine. Exactly. I don't like Absolutely. it when she says you're fine because yeah. then I feel like I'm really not fine. Yeah, okay. just go ahead and make us uh, a couple of general intelligence checks. One, two, to, how many? Just to navigate um, out, out. Just, you know, one. 17. Oh. That would be okay. a 13. 13. Uh, Zoom and Adriel are having a little bit of a hard time navigating, but they're not the ones technically leading this charge. You all descend down the side of the hill, taking rights, 
taking a few lefts, but you do see that there is an additional entrance. Unlike the other towns that you have visited where there was only one way in and out, this particular town does have multiple entrances and exits. Following Katie's instructions, you reach the edge. Um, gates are wide open, there are no guards, and believe it or not, even though that this is a, a very sunny, very bright morning, um, still smell a little bit of uh, the damp promise of an early spring. There's no one else out. To each other. What'd you say? If we like tied a rope to each other. Tied a rope to each other? Yeah, so that we couldn't get separated. Do you have rope? Actually, I do have rope. Um, like, I'll work with them it's 10 miles to the edge. Well, at once we make yeah, it to well, the edge. Yeah, well, I mean, once it starts getting foggy. Like in kindergarten, everybody hold the rope! I mean, that's what I'm saying. I have 50, I have 50 feet of, of rope. Like, if I stretch that out, like, if we were, like, single file, if we, like, were, like, would that go across? If you were single file, you wouldn't have enough rope. I feel like you, you would have to stagger and go, like, one, 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 like, tier... Yeah, like, if we did that, like, could everybody be able to hold on to it? Yeah, probably. I feel like we gotta tie it to them, though, or they're just gonna, like, let go. There was always that one kid in kindergarten that just didn't hold the rope. And we got left behind. Yeah. So, like, we have to, like, literally tie it to the each person. Johnny. And like, damn. Regardless, as you all contemplate this, you all exit Sogso. Disembarking on this afternoon... Venture, as you were warned by Katie, that should you not return in time, things might end up poorly for you. Go ahead, whenever you set out, go ahead and make some perception checks. Okay. So just one. Just one. You keep saying it like there's multiple. Ten. Well, there are multiple of you, and there are multiple NPCs. Seventeen. Okay. God, I can't math today at all. I was like, what's seventeen? I was like, what's six plus one? Seven. <laughs> Add a one to that. Seventeen. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I literally sat there for like a whole ten seconds and could not figure out what six plus one is. It is Friday. It is Friday. Okay. It's Friday. It's Friday night. Hit the dance floor. No. Or red the swamps. Hit my head. <laughs> um for those of you who aren't aware, it's called the hot to Strip. That's where you guys are. You want to so, spell that? Um, <laughs> uh, H A W T. Oh, I wrote it down somewhere else. Two strip. I'll, I'll get that to you, but it's called the two strip. And it's a swampland strip. Yes. Well, are they going to build a strip mall and be like, it's the hot two strip mall? There's an area of land that is all swamp lands. With those, percep with those perception checks, you said 17 and you, Nora? 10. 10? Uh, you're, you're really focused on making sure that <laughs> Sasana doesn't bolt. For, uh, for the road, as you do need to keep everybody in check. And actually, uh, she does seem a little bit spooked and surprisingly is behaving herself. She usually spooked horses are the worst horses. She, she's a little bit intimidated by the current circumstances, or is the, the general feel that you're getting from her. Looking about, uh, Talavin, with your perception check, you do notice that on this particular side, as you all pass by certain trees, that there are signs of warning. Nice to know now. <laughs> there, there are some that say, you know, don't stop here for the night, turn back. But another thing that you notice, and something that Adriel also kind of points out, some of the trees look like they have nails in them. But there is no signage attached. Wonder what that could mean. I don't know. What could that possibly? <laughs> Someone took the sign down. Yeah, I mean, oh, that's... that's what it means. <laughs> I know, but what did? Which is a problem. 
y'all ride the first hour, push into the next hour, and you notice that the fog does get a little bit thicker. The, the strange mist, which often, the, which has been lingering in the distance for the majority of your ride. You would think for such a bright sunny day there shouldn't be any kind of condensation, there shouldn't be any gathering of moisture like this. And there is this very slight subtle mist, this fog, is hovering over the swamplands. And as you all reach that near, near that 10 mile marker, it's it a little bit thicker, but it does not cross the road. You mean it's only on the sides of the road? It's it's deep in the it's deep in the swamps. It's deep in the woods. So like we're not actually riding through the mist. No. Okay. Okay. Continue. Well, you you all are reaching that marker. You're yeah. you're reaching the edge of town. And we pass through and we're fine. You we pass through, but I don't. I don't see how we won't. I'm going to, okay, well, I, I suggest we take this rope, two of us go across the boundary, and the rest of us hold on to the rope and tie the other person to the rope, and then if that person just fucking wanders off and don't come back, and we pull the rope back and there's nothing there, then we're fucked. Who wants to volunteer? <laughs> Shouldn't we all go through together? But what if we can't come back? Well, this will be together. But what if what if some of us can't come go through and the rest of us can't get back? Well, then we'll all be tied to the same rope, and so we'll go by the majority. Zoom at this point kind of nods, right, raises his hand. I'll gesture. link with him. Uh, you hear him say, "I'll, I'll go across first. I there's I see that there's hesitation. In I'm your not eyes. saying there was hesitation. I just don't want to get separated. I don't want all of us to be ended up in separate groups and get trapped oh, somewhere. And I'll go. By yourself? No. <laughs> Shrugs. Oh, God, man. Um, I don't have anything for shit like this. Mm. So hang on, so the scene right now, there's no fog in front of us, there's just like the, the town boundary, or just the Correct. outskirts of it. Correct. And there's no fog, like, no. distorting our vision, okay. No. Currently, the scene before you, um, this, it went back, The you were in a, a co cobblestone area, but now that you have gotten further and further out from the actual city, the ground has gone from cobblestone directly back to dirt. This, this dirt road. Uh, the trees line both sides, many of them scattered out in the middle uh, of the woods and the swamps. Some of them are submerged. You did see, for your perception check, you did see a couple pairs of eyes and things that just hurriedly darted off. Um, you haven't seen anything else. As large as the first crocodile you encountered in a while. Okay, uh, questions, questions. So the mist is only in the trees. It is near, only near the base of the trees, that's correct. And can we see, like, if does the fog end anywhere? Like, if you look over the trees, like, does it end anywhere? Or, like, does it look like it, like, stops at a certain point and then it's clear trees going forward? Oh, um, go ahead, make a, make a, an intelligence check. Actually, no, this would be perception. You're, you're trying to view things, you're trying to see things. Seven things. Oof. That's only a 15. <clears throat> 15? No, it keeps going. Because I was just trying to see if, like, it, like, encircled just a certain air. Like, like if this was the city, if, it, like, the fog was just, like, around the city, but then, like... Because, like, obviously it has to end somewhere, technically, doesn't it? Otherwise, yeah. all the areas yeah. would be covered in mist, right? Perhaps. I think we should just go through together. Fuck it. Like, let's go together. Should we at least be holding on to the rope? Sure. Okay. I pass the rope out and I'm like, everybody hold on. It's about everybody to be a bump it's, it's, it's about to be a bump rope. <laughs> and with one kind of final nod, you... Horses... 
should step forward. Step after step after step. Uh, what's the marching order? Just wondering. Poop. Poop knowledge. I'm going to say I'll be at the front. I'll be second front. Okay. Nora, Zoom is up front with you, Talavin. Uh, Adriel's behind that. Uh, Jacob is right behind Adriel, and Wyatt is behind you, Nora. Okay, that Good. works. Sure. I'll be towards the back. I'll grab the rope oh, as you... You all pass through. Make a perception check. <gasps> Somebody's missing! <laughs> oh, no. That's not good. That's not good. That's um, not good. Ten? That is a fifteen again. Fifteen? Fifteen is good. Is there, there's a moment where, you're, where your breath hitches in your chest. There's a moment where you instinctually tense and you want to close your eyes, but you are afraid that if you blink, even for a moment, that your companions might disappear. No pass through. No one misses. Everyone's still with me. Where are the sprites? Because you said Zoom was near me. Are they still, can I like peek over and be like, are they still there? Yeah, they're still there. The pouch is slightly open. What, what would that look for? The no, I don't trust, I don't trust you. Forget we don't want to lose any of our collection. Yeah, we're like PCs. two days later. Where are the sprites? Well, I don't know, motherfucker. You didn't. You know, you forgot about them like two days ago. What do we do? <laughs> I would do something like that. Yes, I, 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 yes, I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. Um, you see, Talel and Jen both peek their heads. Up o over the edge, they're they're looking around, also anticipating. You see, Jen. It looks like that she has some kind of uh, this green energy, just kind of pulsing in her hand as she peers out, getting getting ready to, to fire something potentially, but sees nothing and lets the energy dissipate. Okay. As they tuck back inside. I'm gonna Hello. say we walk we walk like about twenty feet past the boundary. I'm gonna say thirty feet feet past the boundary, and then I'm gonna stop. Check over my shoulder, everybody there? Everyone's there? I'm gonna be like, alright, let's turn around and see if we can go back now. Alright, everybody, it, it takes a second as you guys are all kind of chained together, you're kind of like, oh, oh just, just hang on, hang on, I just I managed to renegotiate your various steeds, and after, you know, a couple minutes, you once again headlong get ready to face this barrier, and you... I'm going to give a little swift nudge, and everybody, once again, begins marching through the barrier. Look at her face. You can see something bad about to happen. Step. You glance to your left. You glance to your right. You do see that fog. It hasn't gotten any closer. That, that mist that hasn't, hasn't gotten any closer. It hasn't dissipated. It hasn't changed in intensity. As you pass Chills. through the barrier, I need you to make a perception check. Oh, no! Why are there so many Missing something. Oh no, oh my god, a 10! No, I'll roll. M Mackenzie. I mean, everyone does. Can... Roll high. 20! That's my natural 20! Oh, yeah, 20. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do I see? What do you see? <laughs> what do you not see? Who disappeared? <laughs> Taliban, you, you feel yourself instinctually clench and you reach up to Warrior's Mane. You kind of grasp at the hair at the back as you're hoping that. If you turn around, that everyone's going to be there. Nora, you and Sasana don't have that kind of relationship just yet, and your eyes are wide open, <laughs> looking around left, looking around right. Wait, this might be a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> you, you you look to your left, you see your cousin. You look to the right, you see that same swirling mist. Hasn't changed in intensity. Hasn't changed in texture and color and presence. As you glance behind you, everyone's still with you. I look down, are the are the sprites still in the bag? Mm -hmm. This time Jin <laughs> she comes out, looks around the same kind of this pulsing verdant energy just seizing in her fingers. She But you said this was going to be dangerous and she you know, leans up and peers out over, over top of the edge of the bag, looks around, she like ducks back in, you hear I don't see that like everyone's still here. What's going on? It's Adriel at this point, she's like, 
beginning to wonder if these people uh, might have had a little bit too much to drink the night before. <laughs> they, just wa- they just wandered off. People uh, are just, how do, you, how do you just lose all these people? Bl- they set us up? There's, there's no way. There's, there's n- so now that, now that we've passed through several times and kind of felt the feeling of going out and going back in, is there, know, like, a feeling of, like... There's no feeling? Yeah, no, she said we were just tensing and waiting for something. Okay. You're it's waiting kind of like, for some kind of trigger, some kind of sensation. It never happened. Can I roll an intelligence check? Just to be, like... Anything that I'm... Well, no, I rolled an intelligence check when we first got there, too. But I got a 20 for perception. But that was looking for friends. Okay, never yeah, mind. You didn't, you didn't notice anything. Um, actually... No, we, with your natural 20, you did notice on the back of one of the trees, um, some of the bark is slightly scraped at the base. Scraped at the base? What kind of scrape? About, about three trees over to your right as you, as you all were um, walking. So you looked past Adriel, and a few trees over, you did notice that some of the bark just didn't look right. I'm going to pause. We stop. Wait a second. I see something. Everybody's hands instinctually go for their weapons. You see both Zoom and Adriel uh, knock arrows. Some of the bark doesn't look right. Go talk to the tree. Can I? I'm going to talk to the tree. (laughs) Finally, I can. Finally, it's okay. (laughs) The bark doesn't look right. Go over to that tree. Yes. I'm going to follow well, with her so she's not by herself. Can we, like, just yeah. shuffle the rope, like, to the side? <laughs> so, are, are you hanging on to the rope, or are you letting go of the rope? I think we should stay hanging on to the rope. Let I'm going to say we all just, like, <laughs> still hanging on to the rope. Roll an animal handling check, because you all are trying to maneuver all of these horses in very particular formations so that they are not used to. Yeah, that's not good. Technically, my horse would be used to it, like, battle formations. I get to say Your horse is the only one that is professionally trained. So then I don't need to roll an animal handling check. He knows his job. I got a seven. Sassana's oh, freaking out. Sassana does not want to go from side to side. She wants to go forwards and only forwards. Um. Okay, fine, fine. Well, I'll I'll just you have to dismount. I uh, dismount. Yeah, everyone else is also having trouble making sure that their horses are d- okay. going from side to side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, fine. I'll dismount. I'll dismount. You dismount, Sasna. Um, you kind of hand the reins over. I'll hand down. my reins over to Zoom. She can give her to Ariel, and I'm gonna walk behind her. I'm going to have my blade out, one of them out, though. Buddy system. The buddy system, I will not lose you. You step, step, step. It's maybe 15 feet from the others. And you look at this bark, and as you get down and squint really, really hard, uh, there is a place uh, about the size of your palm um, that just doesn't look completely right. Intelligence check? Sure. Does she point it out to me? Can yeah. I can I give her advantage? But what are you intelligence checking? Well, you said it just think what you're doing. It just doesn't look right. So it doesn't look right. Investigation then? Yeah, sure. Go oh, ahead. You're, you're trying to investigate. Can I give her advantage if she points it out to me? If you're also investigating, sure. Okay. Okay. Whose investigations are? Mine's a five. Here's a five too. Fine. Okay. 15? That's plus 5. Okay, okay so, so tainted, tainted 20. 20. Tainted 20. Tainted 20. Da, 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 da. Glancing down as you're investigating, you take a moment and grab at the bark. You're, you're being very careful, but you grab at it um, and you peel it back and it, it sloughs off in your hand. It makes this Oh, she's touching it? It looked like uh, this actually probably came from a different tree and was pasted over top. And as you 
lift it up and look underneath, uh, there is a very small engraving on the root of the tree. A language graving? Engraving? A uh, language? No, this this is um, this is just a, a sigil. Do we recognize it? Uh, are you trained in Arcana? I am. <laughs> then go ahead and roll an Arcana check. Can one of us do it with advantage since we're both trained in it? My Arcana is plus five. Mine's plus five too. You can roll. Uh, if you're if you're both conjecturing, sure. Twenty-two. Twenty-two? Uh, yeah, you're still a little bit new to spells and spell casting, but you are a very studious individual. Um, you take a look at this particular sigil and know that um, this is a form of barrier. I'm not exactly sure what kind of barrier, but there is some kind of uh, iconography tied to um, the, this, this sigil. Being, being some kind of, of boundary marker. And we're saying all this out loud, by the, by the way. Right? FYI, so we're everybody singing, knows. We're saying it all out loud. FYI, hey we found a barrier marker on this tree. I'm going to ask the tree, like, who did this to you? No response. <gasps> the tree is dead. Oh, no. Go ask a different tree. Can I ask the tree next to it? Go over to that tree. What Touch happened? It and you take a moment. What happened to this tree over here? None of them no. are talking. What do we got down there? Can you find another tree? Wait, what'd you say? You gonna try another tree? Try another one. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna try another. Tree. I'm following behind her as she goes. Okay, okay. Are you venturing away? Or are you getting closer to the others? Closer to the others. Okay. I was just wondering where, where you're where you're migrating yeah. off to. You go to the next tree. Is everybody still there? Yeah, every, everyone's still there. Everyone's still hanging onto the rope looking Because I mean technically those are all our NPCs and our horses, so at any point they could just Just be gone. <laughs> disappear. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, they're all still there. I wouldn't like that. Okay, um, so how far away are we from the town? Like, if I hypothetically... No, like 10 miles. 10 miles so 10 from miles the, to the barrier. Yeah. Oh, right, right. Okay. Um, what if we went past the barrier and tried to talk to a tree? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Can we just try to walk past the barrier? Come on, don't Walking take the whole group. No, the whole group. We have to take the whole group with us. Okay. But Just the other trees, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be able to... Oh, trees well, you don't know that. Well, okay, maybe. Okay, can we, like... I'm gonna put a stick up, like, where the where the rune is. Okay. I wouldn't know anything about breaking this particular sigil, would I? Or, like, breaking sigils in general? Like, if you score it Yeah, like, how, like, how do you... Like, do we know how to, like, break sigils like that? Because I was like, can we chop the tree? Would, like, this would require some kind of... I don't have like a some kind of counter, either. some kind of direct counter, some kind of essence to dissipate this particular magic. Okay, so it's like a spell to break a spell. It's not like you can just break the spell by itself. It's Correct. kind of like there was this there was this one episode where like they had like a powerful bowl and they had like a sword that was like embowed with like dispelling magic, mm -hmm. and she used the sword to be able to break the magical. Oh. And to think, I almost got dispel magic, like as a <laughs> or maybe I did. Okay. I always pick the wrong spell. That's whatever. Okay, so I should have talked to the trees when we were out when we were past the barrier. It's fine. It's fine. We can always still go back past the barrier. We just have to do it as a group. Okay, let's. Okay, let's do it. We okay. walk back to the group hey, and we're like, oh my, are you noticing anything weird? I mean, you said something about the sigil, but I, I don't know anything about that. She can talk to trees, and they're not talking. And they always oh. talk back to her. Yeah, it's a whole thing. <laughs> so we were wondering, can we go back past the barrier? She needs to try to talk to one of the trees, see if she can talk to the trees on the other side of the barrier. Jacob 
uh, kind of pipes up and he's like, oh, that, um, right, we, um, we can certainly try Go, going back through. Um, the, do you, are you riding your horse? or Yes. I'm just wondering. Right, I'm getting lost out here in this bitch. Question. If I was to, like, know where the, the tree is with the sigil on one side of the path, if I was to, like, walk straight across the path into the other side of the trees, would I be able to find, like, another sigil, maybe? Mm, you haven't tried. Can I do that? Sure. I'm following. You're on foot. Going through around the tree? Yeah, just, just like, sure. the sigil tree going across, like, just a straight path across the road. See if there's anything similar, not going super in, but just like the first few trees right there. Sure. Sure. Go ahead. I don't like her face. I don't like no, her. it's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. Let's do it. I'm not doing anything. It's your eyes. Can I get advantage yeah. since Nora's helping me? Uh, well, first and foremost, you walk around the edge of the tree. And it's it's, it's a, a larger tree, you know, maybe, you know, two or three. Uh, it's, it's probably closer to, like, two foot thick. And you walk around the edge of the tree, and as you glance back, as you look back to where everyone else is, they're all still there. Ah! Why do you do that? Ah! Ah! Stop it! Dude. Stop it! Stop it! Fucking Jesus. <laughs> okay. You still see the, the, you still see... Uh, Jacob and Wyatt and Zoom. Um, you see the the sprites. You you still see every once in a while. The Jin like looks like she's getting ready to try and jump scare something. She thrusts herself out. This burden energy just coursing through her. And she's like, I swear I'm going to catch one. Wh whatever it is that they're trying to figure out, I'm going to be ready. Well, she's trying to have Don't laugh at me. Jin. <laughs> Jin. Hey. Jin. Hey, Yo, girl. Can you take a look at this sigil. <laughs> <laughs> You're trained in Arcana. Can you come look at this? See if maybe you recognize it. At the at the this is yes, yes. You called two Jin. No, I walk up, and Nora <laughs> comes with me. She ain't about to fly out in the open. I think the hell not. She'll get snatched. We are traumatized. <laughs> we don't want to lose our friends. Some shit's gonna come a hawk out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm like, no. Not even anything magical. It's just it would be something. Just dumb. a hawk. It's just a hawk. No reason. I'm gonna like walk up, make sure Nora's following me. And I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna walk over to Zoom's back and be like, Jen, you are trained in Arcana, aren't you? Uh, I, I understand a little bit of the arcane, but um, primarily my, my magic is uh, nature based. Well, there's right. a sigil uh, something nature -based? on yonder tree, and I was wondering maybe you could tell us more about it, perchance. I certainly try. And she. Oh, for, for I follow very close to her. <laughs> Looking for anything. Absolutely everything. Oh, I have to plug this in. I'm paranoid. Boy, are you paranoid. <laughs> okay, uh, so we were asking Jen. Like, Jen, can mm -hmm. you help us, please? Yeah, she, she flies She flies out after turning around and giving Tella a quick kiss on the cheek. Well, she flies up and, and follows you guys over to the edge of the barrier. She gets near the sigil, doesn't, after you point it out to her. She doesn't get near it, and she... She looks around. Um, she looks and says, "This says this certainly is a um, de definitely a sigil, definitely an arcane sigil of that. Uh, so it's not one of them I'm familiar with." She gets dangerously close to it. She's still not touching it. She's keeping her hands um, pressed up against her, uh, her back as she allows herself to flutter closer and closer and closer. Um, I'm getting closer and closer and closer to her, just like. She glances over as she notices, and she's like, you're, you're really making me nervous the way you're hovering over me like that. Just you're making me nervous the closer you get little. to that tree. Just just a little. Your, your, your hovering is making me nervous. She keeps looking at it, and she's like, actually, this does look, um, well, uh, uh, not familiar, but uh, I've seen something very similar to this. Uh, this is very much like some of the our barrier sigils. That's one of the ones in order to keep certain things out, or or keep certain things in. I know we've had uh, problems, um, especially in, in um, very, very early years, whenever we're first learning to fly. At this point, she she's a few inches above and actually flies up to eye level. 
um, to all to both of you. Um, she says uh, that, that there's a sigil that we use that they're actually very similar to this one in order to keep very young sprites from uh, accidentally wandering off. Uh, whenever they first learned how to fly, sometimes they get a little bit turned around and uh, it's very easy to, to fly outside of the barrier. So um, we generally have sigils like these in order to help maintain the perimeter so that should they wander off that we know that they're in a, a certain area. Okay, well, have you ever heard of somebody, some people be able to get through it and some people not being able to get through it? Well, that's the thing is uh, we're, we're able to pass through. We're, we're older. Uh, if you, if the, the way the sigil is, is designed is so that the, the younger sprites, the ones who are still learning how to fly and who can't necessarily take care of themselves, that they are, are caught caught and are unable to pass through or sometimes just go uh, in circles. So it, way, the spell can be... In the same direction, they ought to make it all the way back to uh, the town or the, the, the village. So the, spe so, the, so the sigil can be, like, altered to, like, oh, for different things? Cool. Yes. Okay, do you, have, do you have any idea how to destroy these symbols and, like, get rid of them? To take down mm -hmm. a barrier? Unfortunately, that's a little bit out of my area of expertise. Like I said, I'm I'm more um, na nature nature based. I mean, I, I could I could try and grow something over top of it, but I don't think that would get rid of this particular sigil. I mean, thing, things like this. And she takes a moment, looks around. She's can't really seem to gain purchase on anything at the moment. She's like, well, usually there's um, there are many of these. Usually it's not just the one. Yeah, there there are, are links finish. from place to place to place all the, all the way around. Uh, it helps reinforce the, the strength of the sigil. Ah, oh, so there's probably multiple. Yeah, that's, probably what I, a lot. that's why I was going to go across the... Okay, now I'm going to like try to walk straight across from that sigil across the okay. road and see if there's one on the other side of the road. I'll go with her. You She's go helping me look. The other side and um, there is not one. On any of the trees near in that general vicinity, you you look at the bases, look for the same kind of thing. Is did Jen come with us, or is she still flitting over there? She came with you. Yeah, she she's she's tracking along. You still see everyone. She's still with you. Okay. Shit, we have to like walk into the <laughs> fucking forest eyes. to be able to find more. No, I'm not like really super into like walking to that forest. No, we shouldn't walk into the forest. I don't want to no, we kind of know generally, like, what it is. Okay, since Jen's with us, I'll ask her, I'll be like, do you know generally about how far away usually these sigils are from each other? Um, well, I know, we, you know, we, we try and keep ours relatively close, um, you know, how, however many paces, it depends actually on the, on the kinds of trees, the, the terrain, uh, even the spell itself. I mean, I know that the, the spell that we use, we have to keep everything very close together. But this this one here, it, it I mean, it could be a few miles before the next one shows up. Mm. For, all, for all I know. So just like a side question, the type of tree that it's on, do you know mm -hmm. the, the type of tree? Would I know the type uh, of tree? Uh, yeah, you'd know the type of tree. You probably wouldn't have to roll anything crazy. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's just a, a simple oak. Okay. And there's multiple oaks in the area. It's not like a special yes. type oak. Okay. Okay. Just making no, sure. No, you can look at it and it looks like any other any other swamp dwelling oak okay i'm going to is it significantly bigger compared to the other trees mm, no okay. taller less green looks dead no. No. Fuck. okay i'm going to go back over it and i'm going to try to like memorize what the sigil looks like i'm going to take out my notebook oh. and i'm going to sketch it oh that's better that's better do that okay. you burp uh, may just make a general intelligence. Yes. Just to make sure that you understand all of the nuances. And the intelligence. Oh, Tainted 20. 12. Um, you, 11. Nora, managed to get the, the basics of it. You'd probably be able to recognize a sigil similar to this one. But if you had to replicate it quickly, it might take you a few minutes. Okay. Uh, but Taliban, because you are sketching it directly into your book, you're able to pick up on a few additional glyphs near the edges, near the rims, and near the center. 
that may have gone unnoticed before. <sighs> Copy. Okay, just real quick. We, we, we moved in. We just... No, you all were here at the tree, so the, the sigil was on, like, this this part of the tree. You all went around to this side, didn't see anything. Now you all went back around. Okay, I was just, I'm gonna Oh, no, say... I walked across the road and then walked back. You walked, all, you walked across the road? Yeah, that's what I said. I said I walked, so I said, I'm gonna try to walk from that tree across the road to the other side where other trees are to look for more sigils, and you said there wasn't any. I thought you meant you walked around the tree. I'll read. So I'll you're, redo it. So you're on the same side of the road. You all haven't crossed the barrier. Uh, no. I'm. So, if this is the road and this is the tree with the sigil on it, I just wanted to walk across the road and see if there was a similar sigil on a tree you're on the still other on the same side. side of the barrier. Yeah, same side of the barrier. Oh, okay. Um. Then. Yeah. I make a. Investigation check. She was with me. Can I do advantage? So we're sticking buddy, Is she with me? buddy yeah. system. That's okay. We can both okay. roll. Nope. It's fine. I had rolled a natural 20. Okay. Doesn't matter. <laughs> um, you look around, past one tree, past the next, past the next. You don't see anything. And then you crouch down near one of them and you do notice the same strange kind of bark that your cousin pointed out to you. And you take that moment, you peel back a bit. <laughs> Feels back that same kind of strange adhesive. It's uh, it's clear. It, it almost looks like a mucus. As you peel it back, you see another sigil. Okay, so how big is this? Is it like gooey? This stuff. It's, it's about the size of your palm. It's like the. It's like a, a normal. It's like normal bark, but on the underside, it looks like it was it was adhered by some kind of. Um, mucus or slime, some some kind of sticky adhesive. Do you have any empty vials? I should. She has some. Can I like try to like scrape some off mm. into a vial? Because I'm not just throwing this shit in my pack. It's nasty. So I like scrape some of it off, like the regular bark and the sticky shit into the vial. What knife do you use? The uh the one that originally had that weird poisony bullshit on it. That I like press the digitation that we found in my bag because that's not really special to me. It's kind of dumb and I don't really want it. Okay, I'm gonna sell the rusty ones. Okay. Take it. Try and peel it. Try and cut it off. Make a strength. strength oh, <laughs> damn. Uh, this is gross. Ooh. <laughs> that's a 10. No, that's a 9. It's a 9. It's weird. You were able to peel it off of the tree easy enough, but as you watch and you begin pe trying to peel it off of the underside of the bark, it hardens and... Okay. Now, now the blade is stuck to the piece of bark. All right, I'm just going to hold it and I'm going to look at this sigil. I'm just going to be like, okay. <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of like hold it away from me a little bit, like just, it's it stuck to the dagger. Bark. It, the sigil is on the root of the tree. Yeah, but the, the bark is the thing that was covering it. Yeah, so the bark is it just stuck to this dagger? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna like hold the dagger away from me and just kind of like, okay, I'll deal with this in a minute. And then I'm gonna look at this sigil. Is it the same compared to the one in my notebook that I just drew? Yes. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're probably about twenty-five feet from the road. So about how far away would that be from the other tree? Um, probably 35 to 40 feet. 25 feet from road. And you said 35 to 40 feet? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, by the time you count the terrain and going up over top of the road. Feet. Uh, actually, it's, it's probably closer to 50 feet because you have to get up over top onto the road and then cross the road. Because it's 15 feet from the Because, yeah, road. you said it was 25 feet from the road, so it would be at least 50 feet. Yeah. Not even including the road. Yeah. So if we went on the other side of the the sigil, like the the bark, I didn't try to talk to those trees, did I? No, you only talked to the ones on the one side of the road. Okay. So if I were to, like, just kind of, whoop, kind of, like, jump past the 
little line barrier and try to talk to one of the trees not within the... You're going through the barrier this time. Yeah. Okay. You take a second. You walk across that natural tree line. And you glance back over your shoulder. Make a perception check. Oh, no! Mother of God. I'm over here trying to look at this damn sigil when she walks around fucking behind my back. Please, please. Oh, that's garbage. Twelve. Twelve? You glance back over your shoulder. Everyone's still there. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I look over my shoulder as Nora's about to go over this. Is she still there? Yeah, she's there. You okay, are you, wait, both evil. This moment, like an anime, you both make this eye contact from either side. One of you is on uh, one side of the barrier. One of you is on the other. Where's Jen? She's uh, she's next to you. She's she's watching you observe this this uh, bark. Can I talk thing. to the tree that's on the other side? Is is it verbal? Um, are you talking to the sigil tree, no. or are you just talking to a tree that's on the other side of the barrier? Emma, you do that. Sorry, my cat is eating. Damn, that was close. She could have swallowed that. Bad, Emma. She was eating a ribbon. That was. She's so yeah. pleased with herself. Okay. I'm she sorry. looks very smug right now. I'm sorry. Cat trouble. She's always here. She looks so happy. She is literally so freaking pleased with herself. She looks so smug. I almost got away with it, too. She would. That was very close. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, so I'm trying to talk to one of the trees that are, that is not within this, the... Barrier. Barrier. Yeah, on the other side. You go over to the tree, you touch it, and you begin thinking. What do you say? Um, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> um, I have a couple questions if, if you'd be okay to answer them. Okay. You see that tree over there? The one that's... I'm standing next to. Well, let's see. I don't see. Um. I don't have eyes. Do you... Okay, do you... facts, 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 facts. Um, Technically, wouldn't his roots yeah, maybe yeah. reach over across the barrier? Do, do your roots perhaps go past the barrier? There, is there, do you feel a barrier nearby? There's a sigil on another tree that's nearby. I thought I sensed some numbness. Numbness? Interesting. Interesting. Numbness. Let's see. Do you know how long ago that numbness happened? No. You, not not in terms of sunrises and sunsets? I guess they don't know numbers. No. Okay. So that's okay. They said it was a couple months ago anyway. Um, I have been asleep. <laughs> so you didn't For sense... For how long? You didn't sense anything whenever... Um, whenever the numbness happened? No. Were there any strange entities that perhaps scraped your bark or anything? No. That's okay. I have been asleep. Caught me on my wake day. Hey. <laughs> Bro, this tree's fucking high. What the fuck? <laughs> high on numbness. Oh, God. Okay. Um. um okay, no, this tree, this tree doesn't know anything. <laughs> it was asleep. Wait, there was no... No entities or anything. So you, would you remember the last time someone came by your area, other than us yesterday? That was before I went to sleep. It's been a while. It's been a long while. That's How long's been a while? Asleep. Oh. Mm. Uh, so, so you don't, you don't remember? No, sorry. You're looking for someone. Well, you should tell him hi. Dear God. Yes. I'll, I will I'll never call get you. this spell. <laughs> it's not a spell. Whatever it is, I will never get it. 
pizza language. Um, Dear God. Okay. Is, is there... No, language I can't... Language is it? It's the, the language of plants and beasts. I can speak Yeah, I will beasts. never get that one. Okay, um, no, I don't think this tree knows anything. Unless I'm totally just missing something. Why was he asleep? All the other trees are awake. Oh, you've talked to, even though it's winter. I know. I think Madison's just cracking down on me. Okay, go talk to a different tree. This is a forest. Go talk to it. Just go talk to the tree next door. I'll talk to the tree next to it. The metagaming pigeon is working today. <laughs> over time. <laughs> okay, you go over to the next tree. and touch it. You say, hello. Greetings. Um, have you... Or, um... Do you sense the numbness that's nearby? Perhaps? Yes. Bit odd. Um, I can talk to you. Yes, you can. Dear God, here we go. Your sensation. I like it. I like it too. Better than him. <laughs> um, so this numbness, do you, did you happen to sense anything whenever this numbness went, started? No, no, we've all been resting and to sleep. Do you remember one thing most of them already fell to winter's swing, but I, I remained. There was someone, I don't remember who, someone did come by, but that was the last thing I remember before being taken by winter. Was it a, a big something or a, a small something? Slightly bigger than you. And you're stepping on one of my roots. Oh, I'm so sorry. I readjust my feet. Is that better? Yes. Okay. And did that something... Did you see if it... Or not see. Did you... Did it do something to your other tree companions? Well, it was hard to determine. I... My... Awareness only goes so far, but it did seem like shortly after midwinter, some of them have remained dormant and quiet. Life is springing back, and yet they are not. I see. So it's almost like they're frozen. Like it's like on like a repeat of like a day or something. Because like they can't leave... It's kind of like Groundhog Day, where it's like, they're kind of repeating, but like, people are being taken out. May maybe. I mean, no, they said the seasons are changing now. Because it was winter, now it's getting to... I know, but I mean, like, within, like, even though the seasons are changing within, like, the people in, like, the animals are still kind of, mm -hmm. like... Something like stuck. that. Stuck. It's some kind of loop or some kind of barrier thing. Okay, um... Let's see, ah, uh, describing the thing. It was slightly bigger, so I assume... See if it was like a, it was like I a creature it was or like, like humanoid. A, um, did you happen to know if it was a, a humanoid creature? You said it, it was slightly bigger than me. Did it have the same stature as me? It was hunched. I remember that much. It was hunched. Horribly hunched. You have very good posture. Like me. I am very straight back. Oh, yes, you do. You're quite beautifully grown. Thank you. Um, often enough, I get to hear such things. Especially from him. <laughs> oh, this is bigger. And hunched. Okay. Alrighty. Well, thank you very much for your time, and I hope that you have... A very lovely spring. I hope so too, and you as well. I, and then I step away. And then I go back and relay all this information. It was hunched. Wow, you don't know all this information now.
<gasps> All right. Yuna's staring at you in complete fascination. She's like, I had never heard of someone someone actually possessing this kind of ability. I mean, yes, it's, uh, some of our people have something like this, but I've never seen something like this from uh, much, much larger folk. You're going to have to teach me all about this. All right, maybe maybe sometime. I just like, as, as Jen says this, I'm just like... <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm, I'm done in this area since we know the sigil and we got to talk to a tree and know that the other trees are numb. Okay, I guess we can get back on our horses and go back to town then. If there's nothing else you wanted to do. I'm good. Okay, so we know we can leave. It doesn't affect us for some reason. You go back to the others? Yeah, she already said that. She said she relayed all the information and went across, came back, talked to us. Hey, look, it's too late. It's too late, Madison. She already came across and told no, us everything. No, I meant the others. What about the others? Zoom. They're right there. What about Zoom? You said they were there. They're 25 feet away. I went back, I, no, after I was done looking at the, I went back to the group. What are you doing? I'm just watching Nora, but I went back to the group. So you left Nora alone. I was watching her. Just tell us what happens. We go back, I go back. You can make a perception check for me. Okay. Nine. Uh, Eighteen. Eighteen? Mm. Eighteen. You haven't seen any insects. You've seen very few birds. There's been one particular bird that's just been perched nearby listening. Talk to that fucking bird. Where? Up in one of the trees. Well, on this side of the barrier or on the other side of the barrier? Oh, uh, on the inside. On the inside where everyone else is. Okay. And I'm, I went back to the others and I'm good on the other side. Yeah, okay, you're with just, everyone. Just making sure. it's over to the edge of the road and you see that there's a bird. What color? What type of bird? Uh, it looks like a robin. It's uh, kind of got these gray feathers on top, uh, darker colored face, uh, red breasted. Okay, it's just sitting there? Yeah. Running around. Hi. Is it you guys? Listen. What's on? What's on? Hello. I'm talking to the bird. What are you doing? Hunting. 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 Wait, wait, is this bird about the same size as the sprites? Or is it bigger than the sprites? <laughs> How we met I grabbed Jen for It's slightly smaller. It's, it, I mean, it's the size of a robin, so, you know. Okay. It's, it's about like five inches, five, five, six inches tall. At maximum, yeah, it's no, yeah, it's probably like five, five inches. You said it's hunting, and that's how we met Talel. So just, just saying. No, you all were, you all met a crow. A well, crow yeah. is. It's a bird. It's a type of bird. Okay. Bigger bird. Um. It's a little robin. It was hunting, and it's on the other side of the barrier. Um. But there's nothing that I see to hunt. Where are your friends? What did you just say? There it is? He said I noticed. Oh. Are you able to fly in that direction? No. No? No. Yeah. Okay. He said yeah. Um. You watch it as it looks in. It's off through the barrier. Keeps going down the road. Oof. That's weird. And, and it's gone? Why is there just a bird there? Okay. Uh, there's nothing I can do. The bird's gone. It's just gone. Okay. Alright, let's get back to town. Right, I'm yeah. done. I'm out. Like, I'm done. We're get just me talking. out of here. Get me back within the walls of some security. Talking to nature. Okay, shit. So what time is it by now? Well, after we get back. Um, we go we back. started probably around 9, 9 o'clock or so. A couple hours passed. So it's probably, by the time you did all of this investigating and thinking and talking, it's probably, you know, 11.45, almost noon. 
Okay, so what time... Okay, now we're on our horses heading back to town. What time is it when we get back to town? Noon? Uh, no, it's, it's about two. Okay. The time you get back. Fucking shit. Okay. About you, guys started, you guys started at nine. Or, like, by the time you got up, had breakfast, unpacked, saddled, all of that. Started around nine. Made it, you know, a couple hours out. You all weren't at a full gallop or anything, so, you know, ten miles, a couple hours, just leisurely. <laughs> all right. We're gonna head to the tippy top of town at that towery what? I'm gonna tell them that we're back from, or tell Arthur. And yeah, Katie. we'll stop by and be like, "Yee, we're back. We're gonna go talk to yonder folk." Sasana. Doing this with her. Head. All right, should we leave her behind? She wants to run. You can, you can sense it in her entire body. It's seizing with energy. We're leaving her behind. We're just gonna ride right up the hill. Ride all the way up the hill? Just let her gallop up the hill and we'll meet you up there. Make a string saving throw. Oh, she bolted. Oh, that's 18 good. plus my strength is 2, so tainted 20. Tainted 20? Mm. You're ready for it. And you lean forward. You clinch your knees against the saddle. And as she lunges forward, you lean into it. And sh Bro, a couple of times she's lucky she didn't oh, fall out. We all took off. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna like leisurely candor. Like, I ain't trying to like get there first. One of these days, Mass is gonna put something up ahead and I'm gonna get caught by it because I'm up ahead by myself. But I can't control this horse. Well, you all canter by. Uh, Adriel, at this point, kind of looks to you, Talavin. Uh, do, do we need to be telling anybody that we're back? I said we rode. We said we rode past them and told them. Oh, you did. Okay, yeah, we did. Okay, good. Good to know. Good to know. Because I said let's ride to the top, and she said let's tell them we're back first. And so okay. I was like, okay, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so you stop by, let them know, and then head up to the top of the tower. Yep. Uh, Nora, you are the one who gets there first, and whenever you get there, it's actually uh, also a gated entrance Oof. up near the top. Once again, however, there are no guards manning it. Not directly, at least. Whenever they see you running with Sasuna sprinting up the path, you see a couple of heads dart in and out from, from behind this wall on top of the towers. Okay. Which actually, as, as you ride up, uh, what you're greeted with, I should have described that first. Um, very similar to the exterior wall, there are several very heavy logs that are just lining the entire top. Essentially like a, a fortress, up, a much smaller fortress up at the top. Uh, there are four watchtowers. And as you enter this area, you can actually see that the building itself uh, is a temple. Uh, make a religion check. As you ride up in Sasana. <laughs> comes to a religion cult. Fourteen. Fourteen? Uh, based on the different symbols, based on the overall essence of it, this is actually a temple to Melora. Spell that. M-E-L-O-R-A-H, I believe. Melora. Hey. M E what? It's it's Melora. Check. I'm spell. So and who that? Back and fight me if I don't. Can't tell which book she's using. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's fine. 
Okay. Yeah, it is a well, it's a temple to Melora. Okay, so I'm just I'm just gonna wait at the top. Wait, does um, what does Melora symbolize? Uh, she uh, based on your religion check, you would know that um, some of the some of your people actually uh, worshipped her. Uh, she is the goddess of nature, goddess of. Um, the seas. She is the one that you go to when you want um, crops to grow, the one who you give thanks to for the rains to come um, for a gentle frost on a harsh winter. Okay. So she's essentially, you know, Mother Nature, Mother Earth. That's helpful. Um, well, she's yeah. fucking up, fam. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait at the top until the others make it. <clears throat> Uh, while you're waiting up there, um, someone does come up to you. Are the gates closed or open? They're open. All, all of the gates are open. All right. uh, so someone does come up to you. Um, kind of looks like a older gentleman, kind of this stark white hair, comes up and gives you this look. It's like, what is your business? Um, we're new to town. We're looking to help you with your issue of your the infiltration and how you all are stuck inside we're looking to help but i'm waiting for my companions see i see one of the others want to come up yes we traveled from outside yes we did see any word any word from the outside no it's um, no. Actually, um, we were in Bamberg before, and we haven't heard anything of your situation. Uh, what's your name? Uh, a Jamin. <laughs> J-Man. J-Man. Okay, are you the leader of this temple? A priest? No, I'm leader of the uh, ragtag guard. We're the ones who uh, are trying to alert people whenever things happen. We've tried to ring in the bells whenever we saw you approaching. Yesterday. When we saw you run in, I was the one who stopped them ringing the bells. Hmm. Uh, they didn't know what you were. Oh, I see. So you, well, you were them. Yes. Given your situation, I see how you can be quite um, weary of strangers. Nods. I assure you, we are here to help you. Certainly hope so. Uh, give us a... So the the creatures that are coming. Do you, do you know what they are? No, we don't. We know there are at least four of them. All right. Uh, they move quickly. I was going to describe what they look like. Yeah, I was, I was about to. Um, so we uh, were sheltered by someone um, last night, and I only saw its its feet. Can you describe its upper half as well? Uh -huh. Mus muscles, a little bit of a hunch to its back, scraggly hair, and it, it moves fast. Um, pointed teeth, jagged claws, um, just gr green with whelps all over it. Usually it has some kind of loincloth. Um, let's see. Whenever they move, uh, does it look like they move in any kind of pattern or any kind of formation? Not that we're aware of. Alright. If you can, get out. Try and bring other people back. Warn them. Question. Why are you staying here? DM. He turns and starts walking away. When we crossed the barrier, did we remember? Yeah, we remembered. What the fuck is wrong with these people? 
That's what we have to figure out. Yeah, you're getting fucking snatched and they don't even know it. All their people are dead. That's ass. <laughs> okay. That's unfortunate. So the dude just walked away. He's He turned and started walking away. Okay. Um, are we there yet? Out of here. Yeah, you all just arrived. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Um, you, you all travel up the cobblestone and make it there. I tell them what I found out. Everyone now is so privy to all this information. It's like the Matrix whenever you like get the information. It's like, <laughs> back. Tell them you can download it. Yes. <laughs> I wonder if we can stay up here one night. And actually get a view off of one of them. Um, probably, but we should let Katie and Arthur know. I mean, yeah, because we can't keep our horses up here. Does it look like this temple, like, so, like, there's, like, a wall. There's, like, walls. So there's, like, the main wall around the city. And then there just is, like, a smaller wall for this temple? Yeah, for the top, for the top of the mountain. Up, up on top. And so what's enclosed within this wall? Um. It is, what it looks like is, um, as soon as you come in, the temple is off to your uh, right-hand side, uh, probably about your two o'clock or so, and then along the edges are what it, you take, and you take a look, and it seems like this right here is probably a more recent phenomenon, because as you look at its construction, it's... It's not as old as the original town. It's the walls, as, or like the whole the wall, thing. Not, it seems like the walls are a recent addition. But the made temple's the not. Material, made of the same area, or, or made, made, made of the same material, constructed similarly. But it seems like some of the additions, like the, the actual watchtowers, those were added on recently. As you look around, it seems like this place probably used to be some kind of garden. You don't see any living quarters. You don't see any additional homes or huts, um, other than the the towers that come up, as well as like a few kind of like small hutched doors. Um, most of this just seems very open. So, like the temple doesn't seem new, just the towers. Just the towers seem new. I mean, that makes sense. Oh, did he notice, like, did he stop and turn around as they came back up, or as they arrived? He, he notices the rest of the people come, and just kind of gives an, a nod of acknowledgement, and goes back to the rest of his people, and begins kind of filling them in of, you know, like, yeah, these are people we saw, this, that, and the other. So, like, he's kind of a guard, so are there any, like religious people in this temple? Like, if I was to, like, kind of walk a little bit closer? You, you go up to the temple? Sure. Okay. I go up to the temple. I'm just asking. I'm just well, asking. well, you know what, Madison? You've done this to yourself. Very I'm just asking you. I'm just asking you a fucking question. If you go up to the, you go up to the temple, and it's, it's lovely. It's made of this uh, very, very old stone. Uh, it looks like they're out of the stone. There were actually parts of it that were carved and that jut out. It's not a completely smooth stone. There are places where it looks like it was pockmarked or hollowed out. And in those, you see uh, little bits of dirt where this was probably a place to plant something, uh, a flower or a vine. And they're all, all the way up these different columns of this temple. But you go inside, and you do not see any religious individuals wearing uh, the colors of Melora. Is there anyone in there? No. It's deserted? Um, it, it, seems, it seems just hollow. Damn. You look inside, um, again, you, you see uh, many different pieces uh, as soon as you go in. It's almost like walking into uh, some kind of a Roman cathedral where there are these spires that just curl up, these columns that help support this freeform uh, canopy as the roof. It extends all the way down there. There's this uh, very large opening where it looks like there possibly could have been a window, 
but as being part of nature, just allowing everything to just come in and be be free. Um, you see that um, there is a like a pool of water where it looks like there was probably some kind of fountain, but the water has turned kind of green. I walk up and I just press the digitation in the water just because that just is terrible. Okay. You begin kind of swirling your hand in the water. So, uh, did, uh, did it work or is it like... Not cleaning. Huh? It's not cleaning. At all? Cast again. And again. So and is again. it like there's algae in it? Or it's like just literally yeah, green fucking water? There's, I mean, you, you reach and feel the edges. There, there's algae. There's, there's, you know, growth. Do Does it look water? like it's supposed to look like that? Uh, make a religion check. Because I'm like, I get being natural and shit, but like, that's nasty. Hmm. That's a 10. There's almost a 50. There's almost you know, a 20, but it wasn't. You know a whole lot about Melora, and the fact that this water is just kind of green and stagnant. Because, like, nature's so supposed why. to be, like, always changing, so, like, I get why it would be a fountain, but I don't know why this water would be stagnant. Do I see, like, how the fountain should be running? So, it's, you said it looks like a fountain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are elements of it that look like the water is supposed to um, feed into itself perpetually. Okay. Can I turn it on? Like, I don't know. How do you, you work a ask. fountain? Okay, fine. I'll, like... But there's no people around. There's nobody there. Who am I supposed to ask? So, did she you She said there's nobody in the temple. Okay, did yeah, you go... The I... water itself is about 10 feet wide by another 15 feet or so long. That's big as hell. So it would take a while to clean it. Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna, um... I, 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 ass- the ball in. I assume that I walked in. I know I, I didn't. I didn't say, but I assume that I went in with Calvin. Okay, and, I'm just making sure. Um, Jacob and Wyatt stay behind and are hanging on to the horses as best they can. For some reason, Jacob gets both Sasana <laughs> and Buttercup. Figure he might have some bite marks whenever he, <laughs> whenever you all get back. That's Oof, fine. Okay, so we're going and Adriel both tag along with you guys as okay. well as the sprites. I'm gonna try to find. So the inside is there's no one inside. So I'm gonna go back outside and ask some more questions. Um, if the people are still out there. Uh, make a perception check. Okay. With my I'll go with her. Oh, I don't okay. see anything. I'll make a perception. I got a three plus four is seven. I don't see. I don't see. You should always let me do perception. I have a plus six. Ooh, but maybe not. That's only a 12. But mine is a plus six for future. You look around and you don't see anybody. Ooh. Even the guards are gone? Um, yeah. Well, they're probably hiding. No, fam. Bro. We are not fucking with this shit. <laughs> where the fuck did they go? Jacob, where did they go? You were out here the whole time. He is currently being harried. <laughs> I, so I look at White. I'm like, bro. Where'd the people go? He's currently manning uh, four horses. Or we can't rely on yeah, them. He's currently manning more more horses than he can handle. And he looks around. I don't know where everyone went. I'm busy. I'm just gonna call out and be like, Are you No, still- don't call out. Why? Because you don't know those things could be coming back and they're just not warning us. Are you all still here? Call out? Yeah. Oh, son of a bitch. There's a pause, and you do see uh, Jamin um, stick stick his head back out of what? the tower. Uh, there, there's a place underneath underneath of the tower that you can go. Okay. Now he's being a little snoop snip. Yeah. I'm gonna go up to him. Um, was this temple at one point inhabited by priests and priestesses? Looks nods. Were they taken? Bounce again. Was that yeah. water? Oh, that's about the water. If it was always like that. <laughs> I'm gonna say I walked up with her. I'm, I walked up with her. Even though I did not agree with her calling out. She had her trying to get a snatch dude. by trolls. My fam. dude. Okay. 
Okay, so, um, let's see. I'm going to be like, was the water always green? In the temple? Yes. Yeah. Damn. That's that's the pool of commune. Did you touch it? (laughs) Nope. I can touch it. There's only a- No! That's an eight. He looks and he's like, Do you worship? No. Definitely not. <laughs> I'm so as long sorry. as you didn't drink it, you're fine. Okay, I didn't drink it. <laughs> um, do you all worship, uh, Melora? No, it's- Many of us do. Would you say- and, uh, It was the others who held the prayers. Uh, were they taken first? He shakes his head. Uh, they they uh, were taken after the smithies and the uh, those who understood more powerful enchanting and magic. Damn. There were only a handful of them. These people were the next to go. All right. All right. So would you say most people in the town follow and worship Melora? No, it's... Okay. Um... I had one question. Shoot, shoot. Do people still come to worship here, or is it mostly abandoned now? Mostly abandoned now. There aren't too many people who uh, want to leave their abodes. They mm. try and get supplies as much as they can, and then they leave. Uh, we were told that the the creatures came up here a couple times. Was that just to take the priests, or how often do they come up to the tower? They travel everywhere, trying to find anybody they can. It just so happens that well, since uh, this is usually where uh, the sound originates from, when we're warning everybody, we're the ones who have to make sure we're hidden first. Have you ever had to face them in battle? One did. Jesus said, didn't make it. Do you remember anything that happened during that battle? It was quick. And to lob off its arm, I remember that much. The people tried to harry it, but it wouldn't fall. What happened to its arm? It strangled him. The, the severed arm strangled who? One of the guards. The one who decided to fight back first. And then what happened to the arm after that? The creature took it with him. Did anything seem to damage it more than other things? We haven't tried fighting them enough. We don't have a lot to fight them with. Even our numbers are few and far between. Very few people actually know how to wield some kind of weapon. What about magic? Do you remember anybody trying to fight it with magic? There are very few people who actually know that. They were the first to go. Do all of you have some sort of sword cap- capabilities? All of the people up here in the tower? For the most part. Does it- you know, We know how- we know it's not to, uh, grab the, the pointy end. <laughs> Alright, so you'll have plenty of weapons, just not enough people to wield them. Nods. Not enough people willing to go up against these things. Whatever they are. You must be pretty keen on going after this. Um, have you seen them interact with each other? No. Never got a chance. Do they stick together or do they stay separate when they're here? I haven't seen them interact like that. What direction do they come from? Is it the same direction each time? 
usually it's from south. Southwest. Southwest. And then they exit that way, usually. No, it's... Um. Madison, what's southwest of here? DM, would we know what's southwest of here? Is it just southern, uh, more southern towns that we've all been to? We traveled northwest for the longest time and found many sprite villages. That's pretty much all that you know is here. I wonder if one of those sprites would know what's near here. Maybe, probably not. Probably not. Villages. Um, hang on, we just need more questions. So they come from the direction and they come in with the relays and they convene. And there's never been more than four? There have been five a few times, but. Look. Has there ever just been one or two, or is it usually more than, like, or is it usually a, 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 a few of them? Usually a few. At least three every time. We cannot fight three of these motherfuckers at a time. Man, this is butt cracks! I don't know, what else do we ask? What else? There's lots of information we need to glean. So they just take whoever they can. But they took. Uh, can they climb? Have you seen them climb? They can climb. They get jumpers. Able to get up here pretty fast anyway. Right. Able to hop down without issue. And at full height, are they about 10 feet? 15 feet? Nods. Alright. Hmm. Okay. We all went out of the town. Yes, we did. We were able to pass through. That makes the few of you. There actually is a a physical barrier. There's a, a sigil that marks around your town. What? A sigil. It's a barrier that's meant to keep you all in, but we don't understand the Complex. Are you able to get rid of it? Afraid not. Where is it? At the edge of town. I I did say that I marked it with a stick. She did say she I marked it with say, a stick. I did say. While we were there, I said that I marked it with a stick, so. Like I stuck a stick in the ground? Do you remember Do you remember that? I do remember that. Okay, I did, yes. <laughs> yes, I marked it. I, I marked it with a stick. It's on the side of the road. Do you all. Well, you said that they took people who understand the sigils. Do you have a library? <laughs> you said, is there a library? Yeah. He shakes his head. No, no, nothing like that here. There's no arcane library where I could possibly look up a sigil. Is there a glossary um, with an index for, for searching sigils? No, not an arcane library. Right. We do have a library. Is there anyone else left in town that knows arcane magic? Jason. That I'm aware of. Oh, thanks. So the people that were taken, are their homes just abandoned? Uh, more often than not, yes. Um... Is there a maximum amount of time that they stay? Do some of them leave empty-handed? Or do they stay until they find someone? Usually stay until they find someone. Even up until the morning? Up until the morning. They've stayed for three, four days at one point. Scratching and drove some people out of their wits. So they don't ever enter the homes, but they will scratch at the door? Scratch at anything. But they never enter someone's home? Not that I'm aware. 
So question, question. These creatures are pretty big, so like with the mental representation of like the houses and stuff, these things wouldn't be able to physically fit inside the houses because of their size. Like, if they crouched and bent, they could. So like technically, if they wanted to, they just tear these houses apart and reach for people. If they really wanted to, technically. Yeah, so that doesn't. So make they sense. wait for people to come outside. Mhm. Mm it's almost like they have. To, they have to wait. Or maybe there's some reason. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying they're being controlled. That's why I'm like. Where did you go? Where yeah, it's you almost go? like they're put on like autopilot. Like only to attack whenever they can, which yeah. is odd that they're not moving in a specific pattern. Because it seems like they would. All right. Also, what what time is it about now? You said we got back to the town about two o'clock. Uh, by the time you done all this, it's probably around like two thirty, two forty-five. Okay. By the time you investigated the the temple and rode up there, had this conversation. Okay. Okay. Um, Still nice, bright, sunny day. No snow. Are there, Are there people watching? Are there people watching in the watchtowers at all hours of the day? Try to. Yeah. Um. Have they ever come in the middle of the day? That's only happened a couple of times. Very rare. Which is why we try and post as often as we can. But we're, we're only a handful of volunteers. How many people would you say are left in this town? Hard to say. There are so many people who are just hiding out in their homes without asking everyone to step outside and get a clear view. Even then, a lot of people are young or inexperienced. Do you know if they took any, or how many, or if they took any people last night? They got four last night. Oh, it's... Has there ever been any kind of pattern in the amount of them that come from day to day? We've tried and whittled ourselves into the ground trying to figure out if there was some kind of pattern. We haven't noticed anything. So, question, question. Um, we did we go out the the south west exit? Is that the exit that you we went, used? You went out the north the northern exit. Okay. Not the northeastern exit. So the opposite way that we had come. Yes. Okay. So hypothetically, if we went to that exit that they usually use, we should be able to see tracks or something. Like, should be uh, able hypothetically. to. Hypothetically. Okay. Because it but is cobblestone. Based on, based on what Arthur and Katie said the night before, it seems like uh, people have gone in search. They've tried to follow the tracks. They've tried to go after these creatures. Right. And they the tracks either disappear at some point, which is far before the edge of the town, where they, they just vanish. Or okay. uh, they're not able to pick up on the trail initially. Would these creatures be considered a fiend? No. Oh, damn. Plus, we don't know what creature it is. Technically, I was just wondering. I was just technically, like, eh. we don't know. That was like, a DM question. I my think bad, my we bad. looked it up a little bit because we were crazy. But um. Look, I had to wait a whole week for this. I can't help myself. We played on Tuesday. Okay, so what? Today's Friday. <laughs> It's been like three days. <laughs> it's been three days. Three long days. Oh, we can't stay awake. <sighs> okay, okay. Oh, okay. All of you were able to get out of the barrier. You were able to leave town. All of us. We're lost. I wonder if we took other people with us, if we'd be able to take them with us, or if they would get left behind. Because, like, I kind of want to see that happen. You want to see people get left behind? <laughs> no, no, not like that, but, like, to see if there's, like, a physical reaction yeah. to, like, us compared to them. Or if maybe if there's somebody that can't leave, if we're with them, well, we suddenly can't leave either. What I wanted to ask, um, 
well, I can't right now, but what I'm planning to ask is um, with Arthur and Katie, if they worship Melora and if the mother and two brothers didn't. Because I'm thinking that might be the... Well, you can ask him and maybe people that left didn't. Well, he... Well... Do you know of anyone that was able to get out? Were there... Did some of them worship and some of them didn't? Melora. Do you know of anyone that didn't worship Melora get out? Yeah, there were, there were some people. I mean, I, I don't keep track. I don't keep track of who, who each individual worships, but I mean, I know the vast majority of people here did. How's Jacob faring? <laughs> He is, his leather uh, pauldron is currently being crunched on by Buttercup as Sasuna has attempted now for the third time to latch onto his hand. Oh. Okay, yeah, I think... That horse needs training. Working on it, working on yeah, it. Yeah, not hard enough. That is terrible. I would be embarrassed if that was my horse. Um, You're the one who bought it, though. I didn't buy it. I bought I bought Zoom's horse. We just bought both of them, and then I got to choose. I got to choose which one I wanted, and I chose the dark brown one with the white because that's what I with wanted. With the attitude, I thought she was pretty. I didn't know it was her. her the looks are deceiving. Crazy at the time. Anyway, um, I can't think of any other questions to ask. I can't think of anything. Um, as our NBCs are doing our bidding, <laughs> that's nice. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess we can maybe go back and regroup. I, I don't know what else. Especially with the time. We said we'd probably we'd try to be back by five. Yeah. Oof. I want to walk around and maybe, I don't know, if we could find someone's house that maybe looked like they were one of, like one of the first ones taken, see if there's anything different about their houses. Or, like, just look around town and see, like, they say, they say that they're scratching on doors, like maybe they're, I don't know if there's any way to tell if they're trying to pick out certain houses over others. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, um, can we, on our way back... We're, we're gonna, like, go back to where we're going okay. back now. Yes, going back. And we can maybe observe the houses and see if there's any kind of, like, sigil or, like, marking or something on each of the houses? Maybe? Uh, as you guys are going, make investigation checks. Okay, that might keep them out. Ha! Yes! 18. Dang, that was good. Investigation okay. is a 22. <laughs> this is a 22. Oh, yeah. um, both of you, as you are going through paying attention to uh, different areas, and now that you kind of have an idea of what these creatures are, what they are actually doing to the different homes, you're now very clearly able to make out distinct scratch mark patterns. But as you go from place to place, location to home to porch, on your way back to Arthur and Katie's house, you don't see any particular pattern. You see some doors have long scrapes over them. You notice some of them are, looks like the wood was dug into by short jagged claws as if something were tapping repeatedly over and over and over and over just left gouge marks into the wood what about katie in arthur's house does it look damaged in any way it does have some damage uh, along the roof hey look i had to ask uh, you never know mm -hmm, yeah as uh, along the roof you can see some of the shingles uh, uh, have scratch marks just long scraping scratch marks one after the other after the other um, you see at one point where it looks like some of the wood has been punctured by, by what maybe um, might have been some claws. Which, granted, the night before was a very, very heavy thunderstorm, uh, just heavy rain, so a lot of that was probably obscuring what you were able to see previously. The vast majority of houses do seem like they have some kind of mark. Are there any houses kind of that don't? Mark. Uh, make another investigation check. I'm also looking. I want to see. That was my question. I have. 15. 14. 15. 
14 and 15. So far, you haven't been able to find a single one that doesn't have some kind of mark. Okay. And so there are a couple where you see, like, oh, like, maybe maybe on the front porch, maybe uh, along the side, it looks like, you know, maybe this was untouched. And you go over, and you look, and then you look up and see along the roof, like, that's where the, the scrape marks are on the underside of the porch. Okay. I'll make it back following the instructions that Katie provided. Walk your way back down underneath. Um, you, uh, Adriel goes over and taps on the front door first. And you can see Katie goes over and you know, they begin having a conversation of, Hi, hi, we're back. Just wanted to let you know. And, and Kate, Katie acknowledges and actually goes outside, shuts the door behind her and, and helps you guys. I tie Warrior up as far away from a Cessna as possible. Okay. To know. On, like, uh, the other side of the fence. Yeah. There's a fence separating them. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, you leave him on the outside? No! I'm not doing that. No, no. But he's tied up. I'm not fucking with this shit. We're not having babies around here. They will be sold. Wouldn't you allow No, them to I would not. You, your horse would be literally useless you... for like eight months. What? You'd be walking. She wouldn't be running. You, but you wouldn't be riding. You'd be walking. That's fair. I would do that for a baby. No, not a not baby. Not Susana's baby. That should be sold. Goodbye. Get out of my life. I don't need that kind of crazy up in here. Can I see your. Which one? That, that one. Okay. Um, so... Castration station. While... I'm gonna, like, do the whole, like, unsaddle Sosana and stuff like that. I'm unsaddling and, and grooming and, and massaging. about half an hour to do all of these things, yeah. Okay, um... And then I'm gonna work on my, uh, find familiar... Because... Um, question. Go ahead. Warrior's original wounds that he had from that manticore, are they healed yet, or are they still, like... Uh, they're pretty much healed at this point. Every, every once in a while, he'll look at you and, again, he, he just tries to be a little bit of a peacock. Just le leans on it. He likes stretching his leg, his back leg, just so that you can see, oh, look, Ma, I've got all of these scars. Look at you, you little Babylon little baby. Yes, little baby. Yeah. <laughs> just bobs his head. Just gives you this look. He's like, love me. I love you forever and ever. No babies. Mom will be very angry. There will be no sugar cubes or massages in your future. If there are babies. Keep that in mind. <laughs> and I'm like, I, I, I linked with him and I'm like, just kind of like, just talking to him. And then I'd say that and I'm like, I'm serious. Yeah, you better be real uncomfortable, because if there's any nonsense going on, you better keep that shit in your pants or you're in trouble, mister. I got a pair of scissors with your name on them. Oh. You would do that to such a noble beast. Shoo! Yes. You know how much a war pickets this goes for? Look, uh, look! Yeah, not a mutt. I ain't out of here giving out free semen. What are you doing? Not. 10,000 gold. Nora, you got it? No? Okay, give me that baby soul. <laughs> half Pegasus, half horse. It might have one wing. <laughs> Let's go. I don't know. No funny business. And then I go back to coddling him. Because I can't even stay mad. Okay. I'm like braiding his hair and his tail, <laughs> putting flowers. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, he's really lapping it up. Oh. Zoom comes by at one point, and he he just watches you work for you know maybe thirty seconds, and then makes the sad look on his face and goes back inside. Technically, I'm still linked with him because <laughs> I never said I unlinked with him, but I guess I did say I linked with Warrior, so I did finally unlink with him. Unlinked with Warrior. 
Jacob is currently nursing his, his shoulders, which are now has some like deep bruises forming as he's sitting there. He's yeah, rubbing down some different different things on them, and Wyatt's just chuckling to himself that Jacob, it's not funny. Kind of like the Lion King, where it's like not funny, Ed, and he's just, <laughs> <laughs> just like from time to time, just. Why it just starts snickering? He's like, it's seriously not that funny. And just and I do I do I like hear them saying this to each other? They're inside, so it's okay. a little bit muffled. But you, after you finish coddling Warrior, you go back inside and I take all of my stuff that had currently been outside. I take it inside and I start cleaning it, mm. just because it was outside in the rain. Mm. I put Warrior's blanket on, FYI. And I left him tied up. FYI. I have a question. Stop him to tied up? It don't matter. He can't, he can't do shit when he's tied up. Unless he wants to fuck himself up. Broken legs. I wasn't going to tie her up. I mean, she has enough energy and stuff. Also, I If he wants a broken leg, he's more than willing to try. I kind of want the baby. Um, I have a question. So, Find Familiar. I, that's the, I, the next... Um, Book of Ancient Secrets, level one ritual spell that I'm working on in my book. It says um, that I can see through my familiar's eyes and hear what it hears until the start of my next turn. But if you're not, if it's not like an action while in battle, you can do it as long as you want. Yes, but the thing is, yeah. my thought process, I'm like, it doesn't say like, okay, so the whole thing is, um, while your familiar is within 100 feet of you, you can communicate it with it telepathically. Additionally, as an action, you can see through its eyes and hear what it hears and stuff. Does the 100 feet apply to that? No. No, well, I don't I'm think asking... so. I'm just yeah, going off what I've question. watched. That's the question again. Okay, so is there a, a um, distance limit to how far the familiar can go while I can see through its eyes and hear what it hears? I want it to follow whatever the, the monsters are. That That's my goal, but I want to know if, it, if like, it can get far away from me and I can still see. I think you can only communicate with it for so long. Yeah, that's what it says. You can communicate it with, with it telepathically. But after 100 feet, you can only communicate with it. So, like, like if it gets in danger, you can't be like, ooh, come back. Yeah, like it essentially, just... essentially, that is what it is. Or that, that's how I read the spell. So, whatever you have, like, you can tell it essentially to do whatever you want for that 100 feet. And then from that point on, you can give them a directive and then they can follow it, but you are no longer sort of manning and telling them what to do. But you they're, can they're still kind of see and hear what it's yeah, hearing so and you. Now, you personally, whenever you're doing this, you cannot see and you cannot hear because all of your senses have been pulled into your familiar. Yes. But you can still in. technically speak. Even if you're in that state. Okay. I like, you can be like, if you're seeing through the cat or whatever, you can see like, ooh, I see, like, but you're just kind of just looks like you're talking to yourself okay, all blank like. so I can describe what I'm seeing and hearing, but I can't hear myself. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's helpful. That's helpful. Um... Good, good, okay. Look, I'm learning stuff from watching these Critical Role videos, I'm just saying. So I'm working on my, my Book of Ancient Secrets Find Familiar ritual. That's what I'm working on, because it's not complete. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still That's, working on it. Yes. Good to know. Okay, so You're just to be clear... Using your ink, using your parchment. Very excellent. You're reminded very much of one of your mentors. You. I love you. you. Um, okay, so I, my plan will probably work. It can go past where yes. it can, okay. But you also have to be careful because it can get killed. Yes, exactly. I'll be careful. I just have to think about what, um, like, what animal I want to summon. Okay. Good to know, good to know. All right, sorry, I'm, I'm done. I'm working on that. Tuna. Hey. Everybody's congregated there. Uh, Adrielle fishes into her own personal bag and uh, pulls out some of the meat that she had wrapped and ends up going upstairs, tapping on the door, and uh, has another conversation with Katie, essentially offering 
uh, some of the fresh deer meat Aww. and offering to help prepare it for that evening just as uh, a sign of thanks. Um. So they, they do go off into the kitchen together. At one point, Jacob also takes a minute and he, he goes upstairs to also say thank you, but then he doesn't come back down. Good for him. Go find a girlfriend. After a while, Wyatt just kind of rolls his eyes and goes, looks, looks at the top of the stairs, and goes in. Comes back about five minutes later. And come, comes back down, just he's like playing kitchen, <laughs> hands under under his arms, and he's like, he's such a foodie, <laughs> shaking his head like. All right. I didn't know that. Nora's focused. She just kind of nods, like, oh, I didn't know that, and, like, mm -hmm. goes back to inscribing. Mm -hmm. How much longer does it take? Ooh, can I learn some stuff from Talel? Like, is he gonna, is he, can I ask him if he's, like, gonna give Spice a lesson and just be like, is there anything well, you can, like, learn? Okay, never mind, Mackenzie wants to say something. Well, I was just gonna say that Arthur and Katie don't know about them, so oh, if they yeah. came down and saw this whole chemistry set, I mean, we could tell them. But maybe don't like meh, like. By the way, there's more. There's more of us. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. But yeah. Um, uh, uh, you you can't. I mean, you can go and, and ask him. I guess I'm. I don't want to go up there Never. really. Yeah, I'll go ask him. Be like, be like, uh, is there anything we can uh, do for a little while? You got any? good lessons to teach just while we're hanging out for a little bit and uh it's it's funny you um you usually are used to seeing him with like these kind of like goggles on or or, or some some kind of mask some kind of like a different kind of protection but the pouch has actually been laid on its side uh, and currently um jen is um dr crafting some some cute little things I, like, don't Why just go up. I could kind of, like, look around like they're, like, conscious and awake and, like, dressed, right? Why wouldn't they be? I don't know. Why wouldn't they be, Madison? I don't want to see anything I don't want to see. Well, yeah. It's, it's, it's on its side, and they're essentially using it to prop themselves up, but they, they are still near the entrance in case they need to duck, duck in. That's all. Um, Jen is currently off to the side. She is practicing um, different forms of druid crafting, working on different uh, weaves, different knots, different vines. Um, uh, and Talel is currently, it, it, he's um, got this sm uh, small book and he's kind of writing in it and he will explain some things to Spice who is still kind of like at the entrance. She doesn't want to come completely out, but uh, it's kind of like she's got her elbows, she's kind of got her head kind of propped up on her elbows as she's listening to him explain all of these different things. Okay, I didn't just walk up. I'm going to take it all back. I didn't just walk up and be like, hey, what are you doing? I was going to kind of like walk up and like make sure they actually see me before I like duck down and like intrude in their space. Oh, they, they see you. Hello. Oh. Uh, are you learning anything interesting today? trying to. And then looks down at Spice. She sees you and kind of partially crawls back. You can just barely see. I stay He's back like, a no. little bit. I don't want to get to him. I don't want to make him he, come he, he just looks at her no. Points to the front. Reluctantly come, comes back to the side. Um, anything you want to teach me? Um, don't have anything else to do right oh, now. Of course, um. Uh, go ahead and sit. I'll, I'll just check this. And I bring my notepad over that has all my just random fucking notes in it. Mm -hmm. uh, he is currently talking about the best way to preserve uh, herbs and spices, roots, in order to uh, get the best potency. He's talking about, you know, sometimes uh, drying things are better. Sometimes working with the dried seeds is more efficient than actually working with a leaf. But some, but it depends on what you're going to be using it for. So sometimes the powder is more essential than uh, the the actual like a steeped tea, for example. So he he's just going through that entire process of talking about 
what he's found that works the best. And I'm taking notes of everything that he says works good and doesn't work good. Mm-hmm. And he, he has notes on all of these things. He's he's flipping through his, uh, essentially, it's, it's a journal of sorts. And I'm just kind of, like, sitting there just taking notes. Like, just kind of, like, crisscross, just like... Mm-hmm. And every once in a while, he'll quiz, he'll quiz one of you. He'll, or he'll wait for some kind of response where he'll... There, there's a pause, like he's waiting for you to fill in some kind of gap. So sometimes Spice answers, sometimes she doesn't. You hear her voice. If I know the answer, I say it. But if I don't, then I'm just kind of like looking through my notes trying to find the answer, but not finding it. After a few seconds, if it doesn't seem like either of you know the answer, he pr- proceeds. Now, uh, Nora, mm. you asked how long it would take for you to finish that particular spell. Mm. Uh, you've been working on it for a couple of days now, right? Yeah, I have. I haven't, like, counted how much time I've done on it, but it has been a, a couple shorter sessions. It's been a few times. times. And now I'm, like, sitting down focusing on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you probably have uh, about an hour left. Okay. I'd say Cool, I'm just gonna go ahead and power through. Okay. You finish your hour, and the spell is written in your tome. Complete. Okay. So in order to cast it... Yeah, you you finish the final scrolling, and as your quill hits the end of the ink, you watch the entire thing just shimmer. This arcane light. That's so cool. No, I Almost looking for a moment like the through a, like a thread of prism. Prismatic spray just whoosh, over the text as it glosses over and is sealed in your boat book. It means I did it right. Okay, so it says that what I What happens need if you spend all that time ten, and you do it wrong? I don't know. You just keep working on it. It says that I need ten gold pieces worth of charcoal, incense and uh-huh. herbs that must be consumed in a fire of brass brazier. Bris- um, so, and it has it to be takes, like good charcoal, too. It says it takes an hour. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. It does? I don't have charcoal, do I? Or can I just do the, the money? No, it has to be 10, ten gold oh, worth of charcoal and incense. You, know, I don't need, you either need something that is an equivalent exchange of those particular items uh, in some form of... Uh, like gold? Uh, so some other some other material material component. So either something needs to be a substitute directly for those things. It can't just be any component. You, it's usually a very particular kind of component um, that you're looking for. Um, what's it called? Uh, we can always ask if there's like an herb type store that would have that gonna, kind of stuff around here. Yeah, but they up, wouldn't. They wouldn't sell um, They might. I don't know. And who knows? These people might have some. We don't even know what kind of store they run. It's like a general store. Is that what she said? What kind yeah, of store do they like run? Groceries. Is the um is the the substitute component? Uh, what is it? Residuum. Residuum. The hell is that? So I wouldn't have any of these things. Mm, probably not. Would I have any of those things? Charcoal, incense, and herbs. You probably have the herbs, but you don't have incense or charcoal. I don't really want to get you don't away. gather up the charcoal from any of your fires that you've had. Okay. I'm going to go ask Katie if she has any of those things. Okay. And what kind of store uh, did they run? A general store. Just a general man. We need, like, we need to go to like, cool store. We need to find... I loved that herb store we ran in that last town with the dude. I just want to like take that store. Everywhere I go. <laughs> Alright, I go to the teleportation circle directly to his shop. <laughs> <laughs> I go to Katie. Oh, you go, you go upstairs to find Katie? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, she and Jacob and Adriel are all just busy in the kitchen. And you can actually see, like, there, there, there's a little bit of laughter. It's it's not very loud, but there there are very muffled snickers as as he, Jacob is chopping it one way and Adriel's kind of getting on to him for chopping it a particular way. And, uh, and it looks like Katie hasn't 
hasn't seen this kind of interaction in a long time, and so she's she's just kind of giggling away as she's mixing, and oh. Jacob would turn to her and it's like, you, you think she's right. You actually, you like, and you, it obviously is better this way, and you hear Adriel, no, no, you're wrong, you're wrong, you see, you're missing out on a whole bunch of flavor whenever you're doing it like this, and so they're just going back and forth, and these, and they're keeping themselves, you know, quiet, you all haven't see. heard them shouting or anything else because they're keeping the volume low uh, for, for safety purposes, but everybody is still, there, there's just this very silent banter, and every once in a while, Adriel will come up and jab Jacob in the side, and like, I told ya, I ship it. <laughs> I ship it. I ship her in Zoom more, but but still. Oh no, I was saying I ship Jacob and Katie. Oh, that works too. Okay, all right. So um, I I kind of like slide up, I guess, <laughs> to Katie. Mm. As she as she's mixing, she's like, oh, hi. Oh, I'm so hello. sorry. So are, we, are we making noise? I really hope we're not. It's like she kind of looks over and Andrea's like, he's the one who's making noise. He's like, you shut up. No. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm sorry to bother what, you. What can I, what can I help you with? Yes, I'm sorry to bother you, but, um, I was wondering if you had any charcoal or, and, um, incense. And herbs. And herbs that I, I could know, possibly buy. Her um, uh, we, we have some charcoal, uh, but incense? Like, like a, a like a candle? Like a, a scent? Oh, uh, yes. We I have, like we have some nice smelling oil. That would work. Yeah. But, uh, I don't, I don't know if that would necessarily count as, as incense. Intelligence check? Would, would that count? Sure, go ahead and roll an intelligence check. Count. What would New say? He was my... I got it too! Sure, it works! Probably. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm. Equivalent exchange. What could go wrong? Can I roll another intelligence? <laughs> oh, no, I can't. Okay. Yikes. Um... Okay, okay, another intelligence. With incense, it just has to be something burning, so I could druidcraft something like that, right? Mm, make another intelligence check. Maybe I'll do better. Please, please, please. Okay, okay. 16 plus intelligence is uh, 19. 19? That is significantly better. <laughs> you would know, based on your all of those years of training when it comes to enchanting different magical objects, that... Druidcraft is good in a pinch, but when it comes to the actual enchanting process or any kind of spell, you can never beat the real thing. And that whenever you druidcraft a plant, uh, even though it is still, in essence, this plant-based thing, uh, this, this organism, you, it is essentially created through magic. It, it doesn't necessarily possess as many natural qualities. You're, you're making something instead of letting it pr um, produce naturally. That makes sense. Can I pause for a minute? I need to be. So, you could, you could try. Go. You could try to have some kind of some kind of burning incense. But it might not be as effective as you want it to be. I want it to be effective. I want it to be very effective. Okay, so let's see. Herbs and incense and things. Um, I wonder all the herbs and things that we got from Talal. So could I, like, with all the herbs and things that um, Talavin got, could I, like, make my own incense just in that sense? Incense in that sense? Sorry. Like, cause she got cinnamon, and she got some other like mint and uh, good smell. Incense is a is a little bit different. Hang on, incense is, is usually some kind of some kind of specialized thing. Let me double check. Sure, I'm not telling you wrong. I mean, that's fine. I'd be okay if you told me wrong if I got to do it. But I a guess... smoke leaving substance, natural. Uh... It could possibly work. I'm gonna try it. Yeah. I'm gonna try it. We'll, we'll just see. You have to. You have to finally make it though. It has to be a. a you have to do really well in constructing this. 
I don't know what else to do then. I could ask Talel. I'm going to go ask Talel if he has any incense. You go down while Talavin is uh, in the middle of a lesson and just get his attention. He mm -hmm. pauses, both of them, looks up to you. Yes. You wouldn't happen to have any incense, would you? Incense? Mm. Um, no? Uh, what, what, what do you need it for? Um, I'm trying to ritual past a familiar. Ah, um, no, no, I, I wouldn't have anything like that, but, uh, Jen, uh, Jen, she's like, yes, as, as she, uh, come, comes over, and it looks like she was actually, uh, crafting what looks like new, uh, some, some kind of new outfit that she has partially pinned on herself, uh, but she comes around the corner and he's like, you, you can't pin it onto yourself like that. Like, so people are going to see you. Where she's naked? Like, what? She's true crafting an outfit. <laughs> you can do that? Yeah. I mean, is it, like, out of leaves or something? Yeah, that's what they wear. But anyway, does she have incense? Uh, she's like, no, no, but uh, I do know a couple of recipes that um, uh, definitely work as incense. Uh, it's it's usually just kind of the uh, the smoky aroma that is produced from that. Uh, why do you do you need some? Yes, I, I actually do. I'm trying to summon a familiar oh. to help us out. Oh, oh, how fun! Uh, oh, she's literally fucking adorable. How fun! Oh, would you help me with that? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I'm going to. Before I embarrass him anymore, I'm going to uh, go ahead and finish this up. Um, whatever spices. Um. You can see, like, as she folds up her arms, it starts falling from the back. And you see Tello's eyes get wide, and he actually scrambles up and, and covers up her, as the back is just kind of flailing open. And he's like, you just see, he just shakes his head and puts his head, forehead on her shoulder. He's like, you cannot do that. <laughs> as, and she's like, I just wanted to get your attention. He pulls at one of the braids on the back of his hair. And she's like, um, d just bring whatever spices that uh, you can you can find. All right, I can I can put it there. And Talavin's there, so we're like, hey, can I borrow some of the spices that you got the other day? I don't know if I got ten gold worth of anything. Oh, it just has to be some. It has to be ten gold worth of charcoal. I think it has to be ten gold worth. I thought it had to be ten gold worth of all of it. Hmm. No, it says ten gold piece worth of charcoal, comma incense and herbs. That must be consumed in the fire. I mean, because I kind of include that as like 10 gold of charcoal. I mean, unless it's 10 gold total for all of it. I suppose. Just getting into the details of it is kind of... I just want to familiar, okay? I'm trying to be creative. The way it, the way it reads is that... All of these things must be worth ten gold pieces. That that's how I read it. Collectively? Like ten, ten gold it doesn't say each. Okay. Okay. That's that's the word that I'm looking for is is because uh it, otherwise it would have been charcoal, incense, and herbs, ten gold pieces each. Okay. So okay. The, gotcha. the way that I'm reading it is you need at least ten gold pieces for uh of it, it has to some total must be at least ten gold pieces. Alrighty. But are you like? Would it have to be like equal parts? I assume. Uh, uh, yeah, some, something along those lines. Yeah. Okay. Um. Got so some. so something would have like four gold worth of something, and then you know three each on the other side. Which you know, granted, gold is a lot more than silver, which is a lot more than a copper. I mean, it's still expensive but it's not like you need a gem worth a thousand gold pieces it's there's a difference in price definitely okay cool so she's helping me with the incense and then katie said i could use her charcoal mm -hmm. um and then i'll just get some of your herbs and spices and then i can cast a familiar i don't know what, what form i should get it in to be sneaky but what 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 do they have? 
Um, they have bat, cat, crab. Here, I get the list is here. I was thinking something small that can fly. I know, because I want it to be sneaky and be able to, like, follow, but also be able to get away if it's spotted. So I was thinking the hawk or the owl, but then it's stuck in that. I mean, owls have night vision. They do. Because the other animals don't. Do, does stuck. the owl have... No, you can change it to other things. It just takes more... I have to cast it again. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Ooh. Would a hawk be able to see at night? I mean, I know they have good vision, but like it's kind of daytime vision. Um, usually, I think that's the daytime vision. I want a seahorse. Oh, wow. If it's raining, Girl. it's just like... <laughs> yeah, <what? laughs> or maybe a weasel. No, because then they can't get away. I think a howl is your... It, was, it doesn't have dark vision, so it would be um, difficult, potentially. Are cats super stealthy? I think they're all kind of the same. I want a cat. But I want it to be able to get away. I don't know. Anyway. So at this point, have I kind of collected all the ingredients that I need? Um, well, make, make a couple nature checks first. Okay. Make, make a nature check. As as Jin is helping you, she 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 finishes um, tidying up uh, the the back of her outfit. She essentially goes back inside and sets out all of the different pieces and puts back on uh, her relatively ornamental uh, armor and comes back out. All right, uh, sixteen for nature. All right. And did you do that at advantage? Could she help oh. you? No, I didn't do it at advantage. Nineteen. 19. Okay, uh, she, uh, with a little bit of help from Taliban, you get some of the herbs together, so you end up getting a little bit of lavender, a little bit of cinnamon. Um, you get a little bit of uh, burdock root. And kind of grinding these things together end up making this a powder. This It's a little bit of a dense, slightly moist powder. You sprinkle it inside of uh, some of the leaves that she ends up druid crafting, and you're able to roll them. And as you pinch the ends, you have a fair amount of confidence in this possibly producing the right uh, mixture. Okay, and I can I make enough for two rituals? Just so that um, I don't have to go through this again next time. Is there enough for two? There, there is enough. Okay. I'd say there's probably enough for two by the time you grind up all of them. Okay. Uh, Just in materials. case something happens to you. Make another um, nature check as you're mixing the second one. With advantage? If she's helping you. Um, 14? 13? 14. 14. Yeah. 14. Okay. Um, you also fairly confident that this one will produce uh, viable results. Okay, okay, good, good. So I have the first one. And, um, did Katie bring the charcoal or was I supposed to go get it? Uh, she she did not dish out any of the charcoal from the, the fire, so you probably have to go get it. You probably have to go get it from the, the stove. Okay, okay, yeah. I'll, I'll get some charcoal and I'll have all my little, like, yeah. herbs, ingredients, and things. And I really want a cat. But is it going to be able to follow? Cats aren't naturally stealthy, though, right? I think they have advantage on dexterity checks. Or dexterity based ability checks. Okay. Because I really want a cat, but I don't want to be able to get away. You know... You have to roll for how many hit points they have. Um, it usually has a stealth of plus four. Or not plus... Yeah, plus four. Because it's proficient in stealth. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. An advantage What's on... Perception I mean, check I don't lie. All I'm saying is, like, the cat's not that fast, but these troll things, monsters. 
okay. could be super fast on the ground. Plus, it'd be their it's terrain. Your thing. They'd have advantage. All right, I'm in the ter in the terrain. I'm going to. And as far as we know, nothing. None of them can fly. That's true. Okay, I, I have to get a flying thing. Never mind. I want to get a cat. I'll get a let's see hawk or owl. Hawk, owl, hawk, owl. Hawk, I mean, a raven's black. Raven. I want a see. raven. Wait, but poor Talal. Okay, I can't do that. He was almost eaten by a raven. <laughs> I mean, but, I like, that. for and the plus, safety of the group to try to get us the fuck out of here, maybe he can be okay with it. And when we're done, I'll help you get more herbs so we can change it into a cat after this. After we get the fuck out of this town. That's okay. I'll do, I'll... I mean, you really think he's going to be less afraid of a hawk? Or an owl? Fair enough. I'm going to get a hawk. Because I, I can roll its moves basically mm, only up to 100 feet you can like give it like an order yeah it's you know, it like has hey to follow, follow these the and then come back you have to be very specific you have to be like follow this and yeah. then come back it always obeys your commands so if i say leave the sprites alone it's not gonna, <laughs> it's not gonna go. don't even look at them i can't take it anymore the sprites okay so i'm gonna get the, all my herbs together and i'm gonna be like okay i'm gonna just, just curious, cause I'm maybe busy. warn them before you just yeah. Okay, I'm gonna create warn a hawk in the middle of a room. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Spice okay. disappears, never to be seen I'm again. I'm gonna tell everyone like I'm going to summon a hawk by this ritual casting. Um, it'll be my familiar. And oh, how wonderful! <laughs> I love hawks. They're so oh, very keen, very intelligent. Until I'll just. <laughs> I just, just bounce his head and just sighs. I just wanted to give you all a heads up. Alright, I start. Okay. It says it That's takes right. an hour. Yeah. You will begin carving the correct sigils along the ground. You begin laying out the different components. Some to the north, some to the east, some along the edges, along the skewed sides. You're drawing, tracing, forming. And as you begin just muttering this incantation repeatedly over and over, you can watch from the components themselves as they're drawn into the circle and informing, informing, and molding, and <laughs> you watch as this hawk, this very um, that this very lovely colored hawk um, kind of has darker feathers around its face and goes down into these dark browns. Its chest is kind of this light cream. It has um, some little check marks along its chest as it oh, it's looks at you. It's in the black talons. As it gazes at you with just this this knowing intellect. It <laughs> lands on your shoulder. Hockey. No, this is the name that you're giving it permanently, Mackenzie. I did it for the Hockey. joke. Hockey. I couldn't. No, I don't know. Don't I, you I mean, dare. <laughs> no, this is my sorry. Couldn't. Avatar, guys. I'm. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> Out missing a beat. Heck, come on. Okay. I haven't. I haven't decided on the name yet, but. I guess I have a telepathic link with it, so, mm. like, hello. You can summon it and desummon it with with a, a thought. <gasps> okay, okay. Yeah, because they, essentially they they come from the uh, it's like a, the ethereal plane or, or something like that. So they um, just kind of bamf into existence. Um, go ahead and roll their hit points. That's a boy or a girl. Boy. Boy bird or a girl bird. Hmm. Or just a bird bird. <laughs> <laughs> or just a bird bird. Hang on first. The hit points are a D8? D6? One D4. D4. That's not very much. Yeah, I'm not very many points. Pretty sure. Hold on, let me double check. Okay, yeah, I didn't, I didn't see it. I didn't either. Yeah, I didn't see it on here. I'm gonna roll for that. Let's see. Um, below a ten, below, a girl. Below, above yeah. a ten, a boy. Yeah. Ooh, it's, it's a girl. girl. Fuck. Nothing wrong with it. Ah, 
I have a girl hug. That's fine. We can just say it's. We we could just say that. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's one d four. Okay. Three. That's not. That's that's pretty good. She has three hit points. Like, oh. Do you have a name? Or. I well. No name. I will. I will give you a name. And it's a girl's name too. <laughs> I have a name. <laughs> And it's a boy's name, too. <laughs> okay, cool. So. Um, After a while, Jacob okay. comes down with everybody else, and they have their your meal. Sorry, what were we going to say? I was going to say, I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna keep hockey for now. <laughs> uh, outside by the horses. Okay. Can't keep it outside. <laughs> Well, I mean, if the monsters come, we're not going to open the door to let it out. So if, okay, fine. That's, if the true. Monsters that's true. That's true. That's true. Okay. It grabs onto the wood, sees warrior. Ops closer. <laughs> Another NPC for Madison to take care of. Our goal, just, just so I shoot the barber the crossbow. Our, our goal is to give her as many NPCs as possible. I know it is. See what her maximum is. Before she's like, enough! Don't worry, eventually some of them are just going to disappear and you're not going to even notice. That's not even facts. That's not even funny. <laughs> I will notice one day. <laughs> I have just like an entire book of like NPC names and I'm like, okay, how is this one doing? And this one, and this, at the beginning of every episode. The daily every checkup. Episode, the daily the checkup. Episode of making sure that all of the NPCs are still alive. <laughs> Madison's like, oh god. Okay. Come at me. I regret <laughs> nothing. Alright, so I keep hockey outside. I like kinda like brush like the top of its head just a little bit and then I go back inside. I uh, yeah it's close oh. lean into it. Oh so I I love this already. We're gonna go out and like Susan is gonna have murdered it or something. Susanna <laughs> is currently in a staring contest with Buttercup. <laughs> I just let it be. Oh yikes! Those two are gonna highly the other others are just heads heads down, just looking anywhere else. Because I mean, the rest of them are are boys, aren't they? It's just those two. Do we ever yeah. remember the name of Adriel's horse? I think it's Tamer. Tamer. Taper, it? Taper! Taper! It was Taper. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I'll go back inside. Is it a boy or a girl's ho horse? A Taper? Yeah. A boy. So, oh, boy. Buttercup and Susan are the only females. Yikes! <laughs> Having a, a Yikes. staring, staring. Oh, Two lead mares. They're like, just go ahead, yeah. make the first move. Oh god! Everybody else is like, we're gonna come over here and drink a beer, <laughs> hang out. Two. We're going to sip our ale and watch you murder each other. <laughs> Girl fight! Everybody come watch. You go back inside, and uh, Jacob and uh, Adriel and Katie all bring down um, several trays. Uh, it is cooked meat and what looks like uh, some kind of um, some some kind of bean, some kind of bean mix, um, possibly some kind of stew. We'll bring that down for everyone. Uh, as they see the door open, Tello, Jen, and Spice all duck on the inside of the pack keeping a keen eye out as you ha technically haven't mentioned their existence meal is dropped off you all eat in peace unless there are any other conversations you want to have okay I'm being a stupid I'm kind of curious did yeah. Wyatt see me ritual cast he did he was watching you most of the time okay what did he look like? 
for the mo- for the most part, you know, his he he was watching. You could see that he because uh, you you weren't like it wasn't like you were in the corner like facing away from everyone. You were uh, ca- casting this thing out as you needed a nice flat area in order to draw and to cast, and that was kind of more in the center of the room at the time. And so that, that's one of the reasons why you wanted the sprites, so that they didn't have a some kind of mental breakdown or conniption. And so, um, at, at some point, he was trying to hide his eyes, and he did pull up his hood, and he's just arms folded, leaned back, but just, just watching at the way your hands moved as, as you were swept up in the moment, as you were talking and tracing these sigils along the ground. Okay. So he was watching her the whole time. He's watching her a vast majority of the time. I am quite entertaining. And side note, while all the all the ingredients were there, I got like I got I rolled enough of like the incense for two, and then I gather the rest of the herbs and stuff and put them in a pouch together, so that in case I need to like, in case hockey goes missing or something, I have <laughs> I have enough to make a new hockey. And I'm gonna name that one Puck. You are Hockey 2.0! <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm done. Yeah. Unless there are any other conversations, the rest of the night goes unimpeded. There are no bells. It's night. Damn. I wanted but to get this shit done locked up with Ben and Katie does come back down at the end of the evening. She sees the hawk. Interesting. She mutters those ar- same arcane words. The, the barrier reforms, the sh- shimmering. Do, do, do you want your, your bird out? Is that your bird? Yes. Do you want it in here? Do you want him out here? Outside is fine. Maybe you should tell it and be like, if you see those things, you need to fall after them, find where they are, and then come back. It has to be pretty specific when you give it instructions. How do you know? I don't know shit. No. No. <laughs> you don't know about this spell. Talvin doesn't understand. That's I don't fine. know nothing. That's fine. Talvin doesn't. Um, Nora, if with a bright idea of her own, is going to say, um, if you see the the monsters coming, um, I want you to follow them, and I will, or follow them from a. Relatively close but safe distance. Be stealthy. Try not to be seen. And I will link in to see. Link into what you see. And I can speak telepathically with it. Yes. So. Well, it, you can communicate telepathically. It doesn't mm-hmm. mean it has a voice. Of its own. I thought it talked back. No. Oh man, I, I like all the voices you came up with. Okay, yes. Oh, and come back. Come back whenever you're done. What was that? I said come back whenever... Careful, we might have disadvantage on something over here. Huh? <laughs> we have disadvantage. Me, Mackenzie, because I'm giving you hints. Okay, and come back whenever you're done. Return to me. <gasps> Return to me. Okay. In the sense that it probably understood. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Oh dear God. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Everybody goes back inside. Cast alarm. Cast alarm. Door once again. Katie comes down and says her good nights and you you did see Arthur uh, he he did come by and asked uh, what you guys saw if you noticed anything strange um, ooh I tell him about the sigils I tell him and Katie about the sigils and I show him the picture and see if they've ever okay, noticed uh, anything like that they have they've never seen anything like this before do they have any books but but uh, no they do not um, but Katie essentially uh, does reiterate a lot of the same things, although not in great as of detail as Jen. When when saying, "Oh, it, it looks like this is some kind of 
it is some kind of seal. She doesn't recognize it, but it does look like uh, some some kind of barrier that is meant to keep something out or or keep something in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess after she finishes that, I was gonna, um, ask about her religion. Um, we, we went up to the, the, um, temple today of Melora, I believe. Mm -hmm. Um, do you all, just out of curiosity, do you all worship Melora? We do. Um, uh, Arthur is the one who who kind of re responds to this as he he came down and had a conversation as as did Katie uh, at some point during dinner. And he yes yes I am I am a, a follower of Molora. And what about his wife? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know you're right there too. I mean yeah. I mean I want to know. Kenzie's asking the question. Thank you. It was asking. yeah um. And out of curiosity, I'm sorry to bring it up, but did your wife and sons also follow Melora? They did. Okay. Apologies for bringing well, it up. Well, I think that might have something to do with all of this. I thought it might, but I, I'm just trying to put the pieces together. Okay, I see. The tan once again clasped over uh, the edge of the crutch. Do you mind if I ask how that happened? I gesture to his injury. Oh, just <laughs> a foolish mistake. Uh, I was riding my horse and uh, it got spooked by something one day. It bucked me off and I ended up slamming against one of the trees. Lucky uh, nothing else happened, but ended up breaking something in there. Uh, we, we have healers, but I am older. Just aches. How long ago did you hurt yourself? Uh, it's been a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. If I had to, I, I could go without using it, but putting pressure on it for extended periods of time just makes it ache. I'd rather not risk it. All right. You didn't happen to see what spooked your horse, it was just... It, it, I ended up selling the horse soon after. It was uh, a little bit of temperamental at times. Really, what did this horse look like? I'm curious. <laughs> uh, it's kind of red. Got like a reddish color. Of course. Like a, rust, like a rusty red color. Interesting. Alright. Oh, sorry for snooping. Just trying it's to right. find any similar thread to figure out why you all are in this situation. Thank you for doing that. Right. And then he, leave, he leaves you all, unless you have anything else you want to say. Not for now. Is it sleepy time? All right. It's sleepy time. You all bed down for the evening. Sleep overtakes all of your forms. After exploring, after attempting to piece together pieces of this, this mystery, after trying to um, figure out elements, how they connect, where, where these connections are, if there are even any. Eventually, your torrent minds allow you peace and allow you to sleep. And no dream comes to either of you this night. Come on, damn it! That's probably a bad thing. Yeah, that probably is a bad thing. It's probably blocking. Because you have a dream every night. Yeah, I do! I'm getting real uncomfortable over here! I need electrocution in my life. What is happening? I actually had questions for me today. What the fuck is going on? We, no, no, we can work through this. Come on, we can make it. <laughs> no, I need <laughs> guidance. I have an entire celestial being for guidance, and I can't use it. Guidance, you said? Guidance. You said? I can get guidance. 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 Poor guys. All right. Uh, 
right. Well, thank you everybody so much for watching for this episode of Damsels and Dice. Yes. Cheers, it's a little dicey, but we'll this is how we roll. Cheers. Have a good night. Bye-bye.